Okay, Boss Hog, I'm in the building. Friday evening, welcome back from uh, the New Year's. Um, <clears throat> the New Year's celebration, let's just say that, all right? I'm uh, behind schedule, bear with me. Bear with me. I'm putting on my mytriplebutter.com. Strike a pose. <laughs> Getting ready. How you feel tonight? How you feel? There's my sponsor. Oh, well, one of my sponsors, huh? Good stuff, good stuff. All right, my troll babies, good evening. Yeah, back to the dumb shit. I'm still celebrating <laughs> the holidays. I know it's over. I know it's over, but I'm going to, you know, touch on some more of that uh, limited edition white grape Ciroc. Get nice and toasty for you tonight, you know? Handle some uh, current events, trending topics. On the screen, I row vows revenge on the United States. Do you care? Let me just say before we start uh, doing too much, thank you to everyone in the armed forces for killing so that we can live the lives of freedom and fuckery that we live. Thank you so much. Do what you have to do. And if you are abroad, stay low and keep your finger on the trigger. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Um, I got some notes here. Hold on a second. Get situated. Where's my cigar? Okay. I'm going to finish up the, uh, the dragon uh, from New Year's. Finish that up tonight, you know. Just, yeah, I left it here on my desk. Didn't even touch it. Hold on, hold on. Get the ice cold Bud Light going. Ball shit, Ronnie, sit tight. I got you. Ronnie will be in the building helping me out tonight because some of this stuff is a little uh, chatty patty ish, you know, and I'm a little too old to be, uh, you know, approaching some of these topics, but we have to. We have to address the bullshit. Ooh, cheers. Okay, okay. Here I am, your main nigga on the trigger. Troy Terrain, PKA Star. And can someone please remind me tonight by way of Cash App or Super Chat because the live chat is here and I don't look in the live chat. I let them do what they do. There's no admins, no moderators. Someone please remind me tonight to speak on a forgotten hero. And I got a beautiful email from a woman. She's a woman now, but when she was in high school, when I was uh, on Power 105, we used to call it Jive 105, back in 2005, <clears throat> I came in one morning, and I, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, I had some bourbon in a 7-Up can, and I was just like blacking out on the microphone, and I was talking about this hero. And he was a fucking hero. And she remembered, she sent me a nice email saying, hey, I'm Jamaican and I didn't know and you taught me something. So I wanna address this man tonight. Give me a second, I'll pull the notes. Or you'll, you know what, you'll pull the notes. I'll just say his name and you'll pull the notes. So please remind me of that tonight. Let me turn the phone volume down, you know. Cause these hoes be stressing a nigga. Okay, okay, uh, on the screen. Why is Damon Dash in Surviving R. Kelly Part two. <laughs> Let's go there tonight. <laughs> Let's go there tonight. <laughs> Folks, this is a trending topic. I don't like to, you know, do anything that looks like I'm kicking dirt on Dame Dash. Dame and I, we met one time. The man put me in a film. I did that dumb shit. You know what I did with the sound effects, Aliyah. And we haven't seen each other face to face since. Although we did exchange some emails somewhere, uh, maybe a decade ago, saying, hey, maybe one day we'll break bread, yada, yada, yada. But why? Why is he in Surviving R. Kelly Part 2, huh? If I put my foot on the gas, you're going to say, ah, you hate a star. Yes, I'm the objective hater, but not a player hater. I like Dame. I like all the balls talk, even, even if he's pump faking to some degree. And I think he is. But you know what? I, I don't wish anything bad upon the man. But if I put my foot on the gas and I talk about him being accused and the civil lawsuit back when he was in summer camp, when he was 16 years of age and there was a 14-year-old girl that said that he raped her, I would be kicking dirt upon the man. But you should know this. Also, let me just point something out here for those of you uh, from, you know, whether you're from my generation or a decade or so younger than me. Do you remember just one of my monumental interviews? And I've done some monumental interviews. 
I don't want to be known for my interviews because when it's all over for me, <clears throat> when I'm taking my dirt nap, you know, eternal darkness, people will say, hey, that guy, he was a fuck nut, but he taught me something. But one of my monumental interviews was, was with Corinne Steffens, a.k.a. Superhead. She was a sloppy bitch then, and she's a sloppy bitch now. And she told me during the interview that Dame Dash helped her with her book to snitch on niggas. Let me look in the live chat. Anybody remember that? Huh? When she got so tight, she got up and left the interview. It was just one break. And then she went to a couple of other radio stations a couple of days later. And she started walking off of uh, other shows because of what the hater asked her about. Yeah, Dame Dash helped her snitch. Okay. A couple of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Dame helped her snitch on Ja Rule, Bobby Brown. Who else uh, back in those? Uh, Tigger, my homie Big Tigger. Yeah, Tigger's my guy. Fuck what you heard. That's my guy. We pieced it up. So Dame has a history of talent, as Harlem niggas do, huh? All that fly jiggy shit with the Ferragamo belts, the fucking AJ Lester's. Oh, I remember all this shit back in the days, and you know, the, the, the marshmallow shoes, Cordervilles. But them niggas stay telling. So if you ask me, he been doing this. But why is he now in the R. Kelly uh, Part 2 docuseries? Lord Jesus. And if you're not up to speed, folks, uh, episode one debuted last night on the Lifetime channel. Uh, the story continues following the groundbreaking Emmy-nominated and <laughs> Critics' Choice Award and MTV Award-winning explosive documentary. Holy smokes. Yeah, Dame Dash is in episode one. Did you see him? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? And for those of you babies who are too young to know, let me, let me tell you something on some real shit. Dame Dash, who we used to call the cakeaholic, oh, that nigga was popping tags. I don't wear the same shit twice. I wear this shit and I throw it away. Y'all you know I mean? That's what niggas were saying. Y'all you know I mean? He was on that monkey shit, pouring uh, Chris Stahl on bitches. Yes, Chris Stahl. <sighs> that was the cakeaholic. Dame, if you ask me, is probably the original roast master. I never hung out with those niggas. Well, except for that one time we were uh, filming Paper Soldiers. Uh, Kevin Hart was there, Stacey Dash. Beanie Siegel, and a couple of other people. Dame used to stay roasting niggas. You couldn't stand around him if your shit didn't match. He let you have it. <laughs> Give me a second. I got so much to talk about. Boss Chick Ronnie, sit tight. I'm coming to you. I'm just... I'm feeling good, you know? And folks, I have to throw myself upon the mercy of the court tonight, and I have to confess. Yesterday, I went back and got a second dose of that fire pussy. Yes, I did. In the name of the blood. Yes, I did. Hang on. Whoa, shit. Okay, okay. Okay, um... Where was it? Where was it? Uh, fire pussy? Okay, I'll come back to Dame Dash. Give me a second. Beautiful young lady who reached out to me. She's not a stripper. And she don't sell no pussy. Part of my language. Reached out to me months ago. You heard me talk about the fire pussy or the fire coochie I had a couple of months back. And yesterday I said, I said let, me, let me see if this is, you know, if it's really all that. And it is. <laughs> oh. Started smoking some, uh, whatever she has, some type of hydro, kush, I don't know. Kush, pardon me, it wasn't hydro, it wasn't sour diesel, kush. Fucked around, my heart started uh, uh, pounding in my chest. I said, whoa, 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 I gotta go. This was after we did, we did the, uh, you know, the, uh, the wild thing. And I said, look, I gotta get the fuck out of here, it's getting late, I gotta do a show. Now, you know I did not do a show last night, I just, I was tired, I was exhausted. Hang on. And the funny part, catch this. 
The funny part, when I was leaving, she said, are you okay? I said, I'll be okay. <clears throat> now, she's a young girl of age, 22 years of age. I'm not going to lie to you. I said, I'll be okay, but let me just get the fuck out of here because, you know, this ain't what I want. <laughs> now, she gave me something. She said, take this with you. It'll make you feel better. I said, what is it? And I saved it so you can see it. Pow, a new port. <laughs> a new port, huh? I laugh. Now, I filmed a little something on Instagram. I may or may not post it with me and her talking about the Newport, but there it is. I saved it. My dumb ass, huh? Help me, Jesus. Help me, Father. Okay, so that's uh, the first topic tonight. Um, why is Damon Dash in Surviving R. Kelly Part 2? Did you see it? I watched it today. And uh, I, I got a couple of notes. Hang on. Got a couple of notes. Um... In my opinion, it's just a propaganda piece. A propaganda piece. R. Kelly is, he's out of here. It's kind of sad to see the people now just pile on because Lifetime wants more ratings. This was, uh, according to my research, Lifetime's biggest docuseries ever. And they're just pulling up a bunch of people still from the past, rehashing their stories. And salute to the two, to the two white women uh, Lindsay Perryman Dunn and Jen uh, Emmerich, who defended R. Kelly in this new episode of uh, Surviving R. Kelly Part 2. They're sisters. Uh, one of them worked for R. Kelly for eight years, and she didn't use the word clout chasing, but that's what she was saying in a roundabout way. She does not believe these girls, and uh, it was nice to see them stand up for R. Kelly. Huh? White folks stand up for R. Kelly. Everybody else in the docuseries just looks like they're you know, trying to get a bag, trying to get a check. Really sad. Phone lines open. Bear with me. Um, and what else do I want to uh, put on the table here before we start doing the most? Oh, a salute to whoever caught Summer Walker lacking down in Miami. <laughs> yeah, the hater misses nothing. Somebody beat her for some weed down in the 305. Yeah, she got scammed. Did you see the uh, story up on World Star? Gave her a big ass bag of oregano, and and. <laughs> She's up on the gram showing the oregano. <laughs> yeah, streets got to eat, baby. 305 don't give a fuck about you coming through there, but, you know, uh, selling out or whatever you did. Yeah, salute to those niggas. You guys know what I'm talking about in your live chat? Yeah, man. <laughs> Caught a lacking. Back in the days, we used to beat people with, uh, what was that called, comfrey leaf? I think that's how you say it, comfrey leaf. Hang on a second. Let me, let me take a little sip of this, uh, Ciroc. Hold on. I feel like rambling. Sit tight, Ronnie. I got you. Hold on. Cheers. <clears throat> hey, and also, let me just say salute to Tasha K. Okay? Oh, we was going back and forth today, texting, uh, calling and talking. Tasha's pulling out, not the cannon. She's pulling out the tank on a couple of people. <laughs> and I don't want no parts of it. <laughs> Tasha don't give a fuck. Tasha's from Florida, in case you don't know. And them girls down there, they, they, they fight dirty. So uh, I just want to say that, put some respect on her name. Yeah, Tasha K. Uh, throw the wine glasses up if you know what I'm talking about. Loopy God was popping. Loopy God 135. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's my beautiful daughter. That's what she said once upon a time. She said, you made me. And I said, oh, thank you, darling. And goddamn right, I, I support her. All right, other things we'll talk about tonight if you want to call in. Adrian Broner, is it time to cancel that nigga, huh? hollering a bad baby up in the DMs, and she did what she was supposed to do. Expose the nigga. Salute the bad baby. Took the screenshot. That nigga's in his 30s trying to holler that little 16-year-old baby, all right? And we can talk about Kevin Hart if you want to. Oh, and the homie. I'm going to put some respect on his name later. Funny Marco. Do you guys know who Funny Marco is? Oh, is he getting a Walmart bag? Oh, the hater misses nothing, huh? Boss Chick Ronnie, are you there? Boss Chick Ronnie, a one-two, a one-two. Good evening. Hey, Star. Hey, how you feeling? All right, yourself, how are you? Good, let me turn your volume up. Um, I'm, I'm a little silly right now. I'm, I'm trying to get nice and toasty. Um, where do we start? Is, why is Damon Dash in Surviving R. Kelly Part 2? Did you see it, the first episode? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> um, yes, mm -hmm. he's in there for two reasons. Come on. One, a check. You know, Damon's always been about a check. Okay. And two, I think he was there, like, to 
subliminally throw shots at Jay mm. because, you know, he's saying, he's saying everybody knew. Anybody who was around him at that time knew. And, you know, uh, he's referring to, you know, after the case and, the, you know, the whole situation with uh, Aaliyah and all of that. Right. They did that joint album together, The Best of Both Worlds. And of course, that was a disaster, but he's still insinuating that, you know, you... Well, I think the first album did pretty good, and then they put out a second one. I forget the names of those albums. You know, we used to play them on the radio all the goddamn time. And if I'm not mistaken, didn't Dame have some type of executive producer credit on one of those? Or do you know? Is that Am I, am I doing too much of a deep dive here? Well, what I mean by disaster is the way that things fell apart okay. with, you know, R. Kelly accusing Jay of, you know, having someone threaten him with a gun at Madison Square and allegedly him getting pepper sprayed and, you know, them going to the radio. And, you know, it was just uh, for two people who did an album together, it was a disaster the way it fell apart in the end. Right. Um, yeah. Uh. What was the second part of your question? I'm sorry. Hang on a second. Let me take a swig of this Ciroc. Hold on. <laughs> okay. No. Now, sometimes when I need to remember things, I take a little sip. Yeah, so um, Damon Dash, you know, why is he in the docu-series? You know, I mean, w with his track record, and never mind Aliyah. Let's, let's not even bring Aliyah into this. Damon Dash does not pay his child support. I don't give a frock what people say. Dragged in and out right. of court. And I, Lee Daniels out here having to bail him out. Hey, Lee Daniels. Hey, girl. Lee Daniels uh, has to bail him out. Why is he there? He's always talking about the culture, honor, loyalty, yada, yada, yada. Woo, woo, woo. It just, I'm looking at him like, damn, nigga, you, your life has gone from sugar to shit. Pardon me. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Slow down, Star. Go ahead. So I just I just remembered um, the second part was about the producer credit. So Dane goes back and forth and, you know, he claims that he didn't take any money that was associated with R. Kelly. He's also claimed that, you know, he didn't he was never in the same room with him. But then, you know, the receipts came out in the form of, you know, footage from the video and okay. you're dancing and doing your, your Dame Dash in the video. But you claimed you never stood in a room, you know, with him. So, um, but he did make a lot of his commentary about Aaliyah and saying, you know, that she told him the history and he felt that yeah. other, other victims. Rock the boat, rock the boat. And covered up. I I'm sorry. Let me, yeah. let me slow down. That wasn't right. Let me, let me slow down. Hold on, Ronnie. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to comment, Ronnie, on Iran vows revenge, or should we come back to that later? I'm charged. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we can come back to that. But um, I do want to say that the women that appeared towards the end of this episode one, um, I really enjoyed their commentary. Oh, uh, the two that previously worked for him. Yeah. Oh, the white women. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Now, um, they previously worked for him for, you know, many years. and But neither of these women have been employed by him for, for years. Yeah. They don't need to. They are RNs. They're real nurses now. They, don't, you know, they shook off the yoke, all that hip-hop, you know, black shit. They've gone on and they've gone back to their whiteness. Right. So, I mean, and even still, like, there, there's no real motivating factor for them to lie right. or attempt to cape for him. Right. Um, but they both they both spoke very straightforward in a manner that some people would classify as, as victim blaming. Yeah. Uh, but it raised excellent points. For example, one of the things they said was, you know, if you're sexually assaulted, your first course of action should be to contact the authorities. Yeah. And I agree with that. You know, when you wait 5, 10, 20 years to tell your story to a television network, it comes off as disingenuous. Okay. All right. Ronnie, hang on a second. We got a lot to do tonight. Uh, folks, phone lines are open, but if you can't get through on the phones, you can send in a cash app, a super chat. The link is right up under uh, the video right there where you send in your donations. And I always respond. I try to read everything. If, even if I, Slow down. Even if I'm rushing, I try to read your donations, okay? All right, I just want to say that. Hang on, Ryan. Let's bring in area code. Um, 
Oh, I think that's my homie Nomad Nick. Nomad Nick, are you there, sir? 415. What's poppin' star Nomad Nick? Calling Nick. Out there. What's going on, man? Good to hear your voice. How are you, man? On a Friday night, smoking a little banana sherbet, sipping on a glass of whiskey. Mm, that was okay. Friday. Okay. <laughs> America. What's going on, Ronnie? How you doing? Hey, Nomad Nick. You said uh, banana what? Sherbet? What the hell is that? Banana sherbet. Banana sherbet. It's just uh, weed... Uh, Cartridge strain, this shit's fire, man. Jesus. Oh, it's man. Friday night, man. Listen, I, I yeah. smoked some shit yesterday with a 22-year-old, and my fucking chest swelled up on me, and I said, whoa, let me get the fuck out of here. I don't know what it was, and, and I asked her, I said... That's it, doing what it's supposed to do. Oh, oh really? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. Get your chest all swollen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was after we smashed, you know, at, after the three minutes, after we smashed, and I said, yo, I got to get the fuck out of here. It's hot, <laughs> and you're wild. Okay, you were saying? Go ahead. Tell you, yeah, and I'm just saying, man, it sounded like a good-ass night, man. Wow. Listen, I'm yeah, down man. here in the ATL with brown sugar. That's what I'm dating now. Okay, you were saying, Nick? Yeah, no, man. It's, like I said, that sounded like a fun night. Um, I just wanted to call in and jump in on some of these topics. Man. Please, come on. Let's go. One thing, what one thing I will say, Star, is you, you got to give Dame a little bit more respect than that, man. <laughs> Come on. on, on one point. Come on, on one point, on one point. <laughs> you you said that he got bailed out by Lee Daniels. He didn't get bailed out. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. I said Lee Daniels. Was, hang on, yeah. Lee Daniels owed him money. He gave him the money, but now Lee Daniels is paying. Yeah, but you said he bailed him out. Oh, okay. You said let's, he bailed let's, him. Nick, out. Tomato, tomato. Pardon me if I said something wrong. The bottom line is Lee Daniels has now put the money on the table that Dame needs. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so, yeah, he gave him the money, you know, and he was able to get himself out or whatever. You know, that was just an investment. Like, because I, I think that at the end of the day, Dame still shouldn't have been on that uh, on that documentary. I think that, you know, he, he he's a smart dude. Why, why put that much heat on yourself? Why bring that kind of attention to yourself? Like, yeah. I just don't get it. Make money in the cut and shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Now, hang on, Nick. You're from the Bay, yes? That's my you're, whole issue. You're from the Bay? Yeah, California? I'm, I'm out here. Okay, yep. okay. Give me your opinion. Never mind me being 55. You're a younger man. Is Dame Dash or Dame Dash joining forces with Adam-22, is that a good look or does that look like Dame is just like on his last leg? Keep it real. You want me to keep it real with you? I think Dame is so smart. He picked one of the top culture vultures and he's about to figure out a way to spin it back around and and and, and take that energy from him. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I, Even though the white boy already went up on VladTV.com and was telling the business. Yes. You're, you're saying that. Yes? Yeah, I mean, I, I legitimately think that... I, I don't even think that he's using him out of desperation. Okay. I think he's trying to figure out what the sauce is for that kind of for that kind of media, for, for somebody that's not from the culture to be that powerful. Okay. I don't think he understands it, and I think that he's there to understand it. It's basically him interning off the uh, off Adam-22 mm. about this new age. Mm. Yeah, so I, I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong. And again, you know, I pride myself on paying attention to small details, so you might be saying something I don't know. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. I spoke to Kenyatta Griggs last month. And I don't know about now, yes. but, but but last month when I spoke to Kenyatta, I said, hey, man, have you and Dame spoke since he apologized to Leo and those guys? And he said no. So that bothers I me. Mean, listen, that uh, bothers me, but I'll give you the last word. Please, go ahead, Nick. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying that what Dame has done in the last couple months, the last year or two, have all been great moves. Huh. But at the end of the day... That you you have to give that man his respect for what he's done for okay. the culture and what he's what he's brought up, brought forth. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I said, I don't think that all the moves that he's making is right, but you know I, I respect what he stands for and respect what he means. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Anything you want to mention by way of MMA or boxing? I I like for you to talk about you know uh, the events coming up. Anything you want to? The fight is. Yeah, no. The, the fight is official for. Uh, uh, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. That's going to happen February nineteenth. Uh, that they, that the contract's been signed. That's an official fight. It's coming up right around the corner. Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, the weekend after. You got the uh, Donald Cerrone versus Conor McGregor fight. This mm. is McGregor's first fight back since he uh, got put to sleep mm. by uh, 
Nate Diaz. And okay, got- listen, Nick, uh, uh, stay in touch with me. You and yeah. I have to commentate that that particular fight if I am available. We have to, okay? I appreciate your call, man. 100%. Be easy, guys. Thank have a good you, night. man. Okay, no mad Nick on the check-in. Yeah. Whew. Okay, okay. Ronnie, give me a second. I'm, I'm grooving. I got a nap earlier, and I, and I got a lot of good rest yesterday. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Ronnie, I got a Newport. <laughs> Shorty gave what? me a Newport. She said, here, smoke this when you're driving home. It'll, it'll make you feel better. I said, oh, fucking Newport. Never in my life did I, well, I mean, I tried to smoke Newports, you know, back in the, uh, my Coke era days from 1981 until 91. I don't fuck with Newports. I'm, I'm going to keep it, though. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to keep it to remind myself of the fire coochie. I just want to say that. Whew. Um, let's bring a couple of calls in, and then we will go back to some of the notes here. Good evening, area code 718. Are you there? 718, good evening. Hello, hello. Pick it up, 718. Okay, they're moving slow. Let's get them out of there. I tried to wait for you. I want to. It's probably a Brooklyn nigga. Brooklyn, pick it up, nigga. Brooklyn. <laughs> Oh, fuck ass Brooklyn niggas. And stop trying to claim me if you're from Brooklyn. I'm not from Brooklyn. I was just passing through. Brooklyn is not the same. Stop it. Area code 732. Good evening. I'm on that bullshit. Good evening, 732. Are you there? What up? How are you? Good evening. I'm good. How about you? I'm good, man. Yeah, I just sent you a five dollar cash app. I don't know if you got it or not. Thank you. I'm about, I'm about to get to it. What's your name, sir? Are you Power Bottom or Hustle G nine eight? Who are you? Nah, nah, it's fucking three D. Okay, what's popping? Let's get to it, homie. Let's go. Man, this is a fucked up way to start a new year with a fucking new war. <laughs> okay, elaborate, please. I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, killing the top general of Iran. Yeah. You know, we should have at least wait it. Let everybody enjoy the new year before getting into this. Are you a proud American citizen, sir? Where are you from and where were you born? I was born in Manhattan. Okay. Okay. Pueblo Espanol. I don't know if I'm... Pueblo Espanol. You know. You're born in New York. Nah, I don't. <laughs> okay, so what, what, what's, your, a, what, what's your background? What's your background? Come on, what's your background? I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> You're Puerto Rican and, and you don't speak Spanish, no? Do you speak Spanglish? <laughs> nah, very little. Jesus. Okay, listen, stay with me. No, no, stay with me. I got love for you, man, because, listen, uh, an old associate of mine, we worked in the MTV mailroom together, King Tone. You know who that is? Yeah, I was watching his Vlad TV interviews. Let Let me hear you salute the kings. King's love. How do you say it? I don't know what you want me to say. Like, how do I salute him? (laughs) No, no. How, How do you say King's love? According to the Latin King's Kings. Blood? Come on, man. Come on, man. Man, I, I, I grew up by you, man, Plainfield. We didn't have no Latin Kings out here. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So, listen. Um, you're American. You know, e- even though uh, <laughs> the U.S. Navy has used Vieques for target practice, you're American. You know, Puerto Rican, uh, you're American, yes? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Sir, and I say this to you respectfully, we have to kill people abroad so that you and I can walk around this motherfucker in Gucci slides and we can smoke fucking uh, uh, Alien OG, Skywalker OG, and we can (laughs) smash whores and and do dumb shit. You know that we have to kill people, yes? Yeah, but let's not kill people that could, uh, you know, punch us back, you know, pretty hard. Sir, we have to kill whoever, however. We the bully, you know what I mean? We got to pick on the weaker people. We can't pick strong opponents to pick on. Okay. Ryan, you want to jump in? This young man. How old are you, sir? How old are you? I'm 40. 40. Oh, Jesus. Jump in there, Ronnie, please. Please. I was going to go back to him calling himself um, Puerto Rican. Are you, were you born in Puerto Rico? 
No, nah, I was born in Manhattan. <laughs> okay. But we all call ourselves Puerto Rican. You know, wherever we're born, we still can say we're Puerto Rican. Were your parents born here, or were they born in Puerto Rico? No, nah, they was born in Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. So can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? What's up? Don't ever tell anybody this. You listening? Yeah, I'm listening. I love Puerto Rican culture. I love it. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Secret. You hear me? That's a secret. Okay? All right, man. I'll keep that. Now, hang on a second. You're 40 years of age. Have you ever seen West Side Story? Yeah, I've seen it a long time ago. Okay. All right. All right, man. Thank you for the call. What thank you. With that kid from Karate, that, that dude from Karate Kid. <laughs> Let's get him the fuck out of here. What is he talking about? Jesus. How are you 40 years of age and you don't know how to say King's Love according to the Latin Kings? Let me look, look in the live chat. We're my troll babies. King's Love. How do you say King's Love? Let's go. I'm on that bullshit tonight. <laughs> they got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's a story. Get him up out of it. Yeah. Amor de Rey. Fuck. <laughs> Ronnie, hang on a second. I have some super chats and cash apps. Um, good evening, Hustle. Hustle says, yo, Star, that academics versus uh, Nav beef is lit. Ack in his feelings because he said, uh, Nav said academics hops from one rapper's dick to another. He's surprised he doesn't have STD. Listen, Ack is my guy. That's my guy. Even though the chemistry wasn't there, because I'm not an old hater of young people. And that's what it was. Ack is my guy. And Ack has learned from Star. Don't ever get that twisted. When you hear academics regurgitate what Star used to say, I've never carried anybody's records. I'm not a comedian. I love him for saying that. He heard that, he heard that from Star. Ack is going to be fine, uh, Hustle. Yeah, fuck Nav. Fuck that Oh, what was he from Canada somewhere? Fuck him. Ack is doing what he's supposed to be doing. Light, light that motherfucker up like a Christmas tree. Salute to Ab. Uh, hold on a second, Ronnie. Uh, power bottom for you. <laughs> Sends in a cash app. Fuck R. Kelly. Who are you talking about all this fire coochie that you had yesterday? What about me? Question mark. <laughs> you never... <laughs> You never mentioned all this fire bussy <laughs> that I give you. <laughs> Salute to Power Bottom. <laughs> Folks, we get our troll on. That's what we do. Thank you for your donation. G98 says, uh, black Trump voters like yourself need to go to the front lines with them crackers in Iran. We not fighting with the white man's war no more. Hashtag ADOS. So I'm color neutral, but my father did fight in World War II when he was a pre-teenager in the U.S. Navy. I got the receipts. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And many African Americans fought in the war. I signed up for selective service, as did many people in the early 80s. I was ready to get down for my crown and to fight for this country. Yes, I was. Don't you ever get that fucked up about me. Thank you for your donation. And people have to die for this freedom that we have. Yes, they do. Just so we can uh, walk around in our boxers, eat Cheerios, you know? Okay, hang on a second, Ryan. Let me go to a couple of cash apps here. Uh, hey, Terry, how are you doing? She says, Star, good to see you on. Yeah, thank you, baby. I'm a little turned up. I know, I know. I had some fire coochies. <laughs> <laughs> Terry says, holy shit, star, 22 years old, LOL. Listen, she reached out to me. I don't chase him. She reached out to me. And we were talking about silly shit yesterday. <laughs> silly shit. <laughs> I, looked, I took a look at myself in the mirror and said, nigga, what are you doing? Stop it, star. Troy, stop it, Troy. Oh, and she put on those size six and a half stilettos and started dancing. That's all I'll say right now. 
Uh, hey, Derek, good evening, sir. He sends in a cash app. He says, young pussy have a nigga hooks like Pookie. I'm not hooked, sir. I just, you know, I, I, I smash once in a while, then I snap out of it, you know? Uh, Gucci Marks says, uh, Ronnie, why did you ever give Star that Newport? <laughs> <laughs> Gucci Marks, Ronnie is in New Jersey. I'm in Atlanta. That was cute, but thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, Wasn't sir. Wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I was just as shocked as they were. <laughs> yeah. Nehemiah on the check-in. Hey, hey, Nehemiah says, yo, boss, let me know if you got this. Yes, I got it, sir, Nehemiah, huh? Sir, do you know where your name comes from, Nehemiah? Where's my lighter? Where's my fucking lighter? Holy shit. Okay, here it is. Thank you for your donation, Nehemiah. Whenever I hear that name, I think of my one of my neighbors back in Scotch Plains, New Jersey, back in the 70s. Ronaldo Skeets Nehemiah. Google him. Our families were very, very cool. His sister, uh, Delethea, a.k.a. Lisa, and his other brother, Dion. Thank you so much for your donation, Nehemiah. Uh, hang on, Ronnie. Hang on, guys. Uh, Crab Daddy, where are you, man? What is Crab Daddy's number? Hold on a second. Jesus Christ. That's my son. He's six foot five. He's a white boy out of Erie, Pennsylvania. What is his number? Hold on a second. Crab Daddy, are you yes. there? Crab Daddy? Hey, Happy New Year. Crack or tweak. Kanowski. Yes. Good to hear your voice, man. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sending you a GoFundMe right now as we speak. Pops, Thank what's going on? Thank you. We're going to get this Atlanta radio station. Okay. And I'm going to let Slim the God work front door security because he said he'd protect me. Okay. Now, listen, hang on a second before we have a conversation because uh, you haven't been on the show in a while. For those who don't know, are you still podcasting? What's going on? Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm still podcasting. I started a fucking record label. I have a drywall company. I got a whole crew. I got three trucks. Nice. I hired a kid. Turns out he's very autistic. But Easy. He, Easy. But, but, Easy, white boy. Why? What did I say? What are you talking about autistic? And I know you, you're you reckless. Now, now, hang on a second. For those who don't know, you've been down with my machine. I, gonna... My artist, I, I'm, a, I'm promoting him. My artist, Little B, he badass, is autistic. I hired him to drywall. Gotcha. He's very strong, shows up every day, and it can happen to freestyle, and he's nice. a drug addict. Is that so? Oh, okay, alleged drug addict. Slow down. You see, you're going left already. Slow down. Slow down. Now. You're out in Erie, Pennsylvania. You're six foot five. You, you're a former MMA fighter, and you had a, yes, Troy, and but, you had a fight with five police officers in a bar. Pennsylvania weigh two hundred and seventy pounds. Slow, slow down, slow down, white boy. They tased you. You made the newspaper. So, so your gangster is official. Go. Oh, my, my gangster is official, but I sandbagged the gangster. I'm a thirty-seven year old man who podcasts. You could check out my YouTube page. Crab Daddy X. That's Crab Daddy with a K and an X, the Roman numeral for five, because I come back every time. I can't be dead. You can't kill me. Nice. But you brought up an interesting point with MMA and boxing. Nomad Nick made a crucial air live in transmission on YouTube saying that the Wilder and Tyson Fury fight was on the 19th. It's actually on the 22nd. Mm. And he said... And, yeah, by the way, he said, oh, I'm getting excited. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Take it easy. Folks, he's bipolar. Hang on a second. His mama had some fire coochie. Forget that. Take your and time. I love take, you. take your time. Take One your time. foot before God, but not before me. You know what I mean? Gotcha. But, yeah, he made, and then he said, like, um, Diaz knocked out Conor McGregor, but I think he just put him to sleep. I'm not sure. Did he say put him to sleep or he knocked him out? I forget. I don't have to go back in the archive tonight and see what he said, but he made two crucial mistakes talking about MMA and mixed martial arts. But I'm not here for business. How are you? How's everything? I'm good, it's man. 50 good. degrees here in the mountains of Pennsylvania. The yeah. trailers are holding up fine. Nice. We got the Amish put in metal roofs. We're holding shit down. Those cannons out there right now vacuuming the shitter. Okay, listen, st listen, slow down. Don't mention other people's names. You're doing great. Let's stay focused. Come on, man. Stay focused. Well, can you give me a couple seconds to warm up? I can stay on the line tonight. I was actually sending you a cash app. Actually, go fund me as we speak. 
Nice, nice. Now, hang on. Let's not talk about anybody else. Let's talk about your channel. Promote your channel. You're a guitar player. Uh, I, I got a couple things popping off. I'm not, I, I, I can't find a home on any platform, but I do have my own platform on YouTube. It's right. Daddy X. I, I just came here out with a new rapping artist. He's a white autistic drywalling drug addict. And I Stop calling people drug addicts. Slow down. Slow down. No, no, he is. No, no, you slow down. Stop calling people drug addicts. If, you, if you're not going to take the okay, stand and back I'm, those I'm words up, I don't want to be involved in it. YouTube's playing a different game. Yes, sir. Slow down. So. Yeah, I'm not trying to cause trouble, it, but it's, I know it's a fact. I'm there, you know, I'm recording with him. We're in the studio. He, he's, a, he's a rapper, you know. They like that stuff. Okay. All right, listen, can I ask but I'm you? also on Twitter, and I do a Boston M MMA show, and we definitely don't give out wrong dates for big fucking, big effing fights headlining <laughs> like the Tyson Furies in the, in the uh, Wilders of the world mm. or the, the Bronze Bomber. We don't mess up dates like that. Got you. Okay. And it's just for fun. I don't, right. I don't have any PayPal's out there. I don't have no GoFundMe's out there. I do it for the people, Pops. I still, I'm still doing it. Gotcha. I'm still doing it. Right, Kanowski, listen to me. Hey, good to hear from you, man. Have. have a great evening. Thank you. Hey, hey. Let's get him out of here. Yeah. <sighs> good guy. Good guy, but you have to know when to cut him short. Hang on, Ronnie. Let me go to a Blade. Blade sends in a super chat. He says, message and email. Hang on a second, Blade. I got you. And again, thank you, Terry Kang, for your donation. Okay, hold on. Okay, uh, 100 Acre Woods, I got your new banner. Salute. 100 Acre Woods, I got you. Antonio, good evening. He says, Chicago is the last real city star. RIP New York City. Sir, I beg to differ. Respectfully, I thank you for your donation. But listen, if you ask me, the Bronx, as always, the BX, they're on some other shit. Ronnie, Ronnie do we have an update on the alleged kidnapping of the, crack, of the alleged crackhead who people thought was, was a child? And then you have this guy that was beat down. He's now taking pictures in the New York Daily News. And, and salute to his son. I don't want to put his son's name in the equation, but his son was up on World Star. Any updates, Ronnie, or is that like old news now? Um, I wouldn't say it's old news. I see a lot of people are still talking about it um, because, you know, the father has put out some videos. And also uh, the son has put out three videos so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually communicated with... Um, the son right. and he was just you know very adamant that he, he does not want this situation to be a reflection of him right um he said that he has already lost his mother and you know in a way he feels like he's also lost his father mm. he doesn't want anything to do with him mm. you know um you know and the guy has um problems the father i'm speaking about he has I've seen several videos where he looked to be, you know, really out of his mind, um, you know, where he was recording and singing. And so um, I, I don't think I think the situation right now is under review. Okay. He has not been charged as of yet. Yeah. So this definitely was not a child. Well, I think he was arrested and then released. I think they arrested him. And then they said, and then they determined that it was uh, some type of uh, alleged crackhead, not a minor, and they cut him loose. <laughs> right, right. They did bring him in. The Bronx is lit. So the last I checked, they're they're looking at the situation. Yeah. I don't expect for him to be charged. Uh, I don't believe his story that he was trying to save the woman as he claimed. <laughs> we all saw the footage. Uh, no, no, Ronnie, Ronnie, I'm I'm going with the man. <laughs> Who said that the crackhead wanted him to save her? I'm going with that footage. It that makes more sense to me. That makes more sense to me. <laughs> and folks, there's another video in case you have not seen it of another confrontation in the subway where the, the alleged crackhead is talking to this man, trying to blow him up about Facebook, yada yada yada. And it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, this in, this entire situation is um, a hot mess. Um, you know, 
from the guy that she was with being, you know, no shoes, just in his socks on the New York subway system. There are rats that yeah. live on the New York subway system. Yeah. You know, that regular shit is cats. Yeah. yeah. All right. They're they're as big as cats. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on a second, Ronnie. Stay with me. Uh, Antonio, thank you for your cash app. Uh, Antonio also says this was that old school American might swift. Yeah, man. Let's look to the Trump administration. We bombing niggas. Fuck y'all talking about. Come on and get the smoke. Uh, Bush kid, good evening, sir. Sends in a cash app. We kill those who hate my America. Hashtag shoot first. Judge. Dropping bombs. Regular shit, you know? Freedom cost. Uh, hey, Eric, how are you, sir? Let me see if I can find you. Area code 571. Hold on a second. And someone wants to call in and talk about academics and nav. Uh, Eric, is that you? 571. Good evening. Five seven one. Yo, what's up, Star? How are you, sir? What's up, Star? Hey, yes, man. Sir. Yo, did you see Steve Harvey get um, embarrassed on New Year's? Talk to me, man. <laughs> uh, Gorkowski, the tight end for the Patriots, right? Okay. The former tight end for the Patriots. Well, anyway, okay. Steve Harvey was presented. Are you talking about when he threw down the Lego statue or something like that? Yes. Oh, who gives a shit? Yes. So that was staged. Who get, come on. Who gives a shit? Hell, man, doing? but you know what? Steve Harvey, man, he's the biggest coon I've ever seen in my life. The biggest coon I've ever seen in my life to let that happen, let the people play with him like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He was stomping on it. After he threw it down, he started stomping on it, man. Yeah. yeah. That, man, it looked, it looked so bad. It looked right, really man. bad. I was shocked to see that, man. Listen, sir, so I appreciate your cash app. Let me just say that first and foremost. I, I take your dollar serious. I take your dollar serious. Oh, okay. Now, are you from Jamaica by any chance? Yeah. From Jamaica, your your family? Nah, man. Okay. Not at all. How you old? Know what I'm how old are you? But uh, yo, no, 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 no. Stay with me. Stay with me. How I'm, how old are you? How old are you? I'm in my forties, man. Perfect. Perfect. Now, uh, I, I, okay. Someone sent me a beautiful email earlier, and, that, and she just reminded me that when she was in high school, when I was back on Power 105 back in the days that I went on a rant showing love and support for Jamaica. Don't get it fucked up about me. I throw you some curveballs. But now, you've heard of Nat Turner, yes? Absolutely. Yes. Have you ever heard of Samuel Sharp? No. Um, is that the guy that made the Sharp rifle? You tell me, sir. You tell me. I'm a high school driver. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Ronnie, have you ever heard of Samuel Sharp? Who's boss Chick Ronnie? I'm ranting tonight. Samuel Sharp? Samuel. They used to call him Sam Sharp from Jamaica. We're going to put some respect no. on his name. No? Okay. All right. No, no, no. No, I'll look nah. him up. Okay. Right. okay. Ronnie, look okay. him up. Sir, I thank you for your cash up. Anything else you want to say about Dame Dash? Why is Dame Dash in Surviving R. Kelly Part 2? Finish up. I don't know, man, but all I got to know is this. I was in New York, man, a couple weeks ago, and... uh. They very fruity out there, man. Them dudes is very fruity, man. I was on the subway, you know what I'm saying, riding the A train, and every brother I got up on that joint was fruity as a mug, man. What's going on with New York, man? For real. Well, d don't come down to Atlanta, because these motherfuckers is down here uh, <laughs> tweaking and geeking. <laughs> 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 hey, stop, stop, stop. Thank you, sir. Let's get him up out of here. How are you in your 40s and you, you don't know who Samuel Sharp was? Hold on, guys. And I, I had to pause and think because I didn't remember the conversation, but she reminded me verbatim. And she said, you know, you say a lot of crazy things, but I thank you for that because she was in a conversation with people about, you know, uh, just, you know, Haiti. And Haiti, of course, you know, winning the war against the French. And, and she... It was a nice email. That's what I'm trying to say. Ronnie, sit tight. I'm coming back to you in a second. Uh, Eric, thank you for your donation, sir, again. Rick. Rick says, Stacy is looking for you in East Orange. Stacy who, sir? Rick? <laughs> Stacy who, sir? 
Did I smash Stacy with no condom? What are you talking about? So I don't run from nothing? Send an email. Stacy who? East Orange, New Jersey, you're talking about, yes? Okay. Thank you for that donation. Uh, hey, Jennifer. Jennifer says, Damon Dash is all about the bag. He don't give a frock. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, Blade says, F you, star. And don't go too hard at Dame and R. Kelly because you might be getting yours pretty soon, nigga. I got a private eye tracking down. Ooh, the white girl that your degenerate ass was pimping while she was pregnant out of the back of, of your car back in the day. We're going to find her. Uh, coach her on how to cry for the camera. <laughs> and get her to tell the whole world how you took advantage of her. Hashtag me too is coming for you, old nigga. But still, salute to you all the same. Hey, man, thank you, uh, Blade. Okay, now, Blade, you've got to get the story straight. She was eight and a half months pregnant. She was smoking crack, krills in the back of my van. It was a van, not a car. And we were in the Bronx. Did you say the Bronx? Okay, it was in the Bronx. <laughs> it was a low point in my life, but, you know, she was, she was about it, you know? I was just driving. We were up there around uh, Hunts Point. You, you, you know the story, man. Thank you for your donation, Blade. I appreciate you. Um, Cali clarification says, cowards die many times before their ultimate death. Okay, thank you. Okay, Ronnie, don't read anything on Samuel Sharp just yet. If you had time to Google, I want someone to call in and put some respect on his name. That young lady reminded me that I came into Power 105 one morning Turned up and saucy, and I was, I was showing Jamaica love, as I do. Don't get it twisted. Let me look in the live chat. Samuel Sharp. Have you guys uh, Googled that yet? How many days was that rebellion in Jamaica? Jamaica. Hmm? And he was educated, too. All right, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let's bring in area code 201. Uh, good evening, 201. Are you there? 201. 201, good evening. Yo, Star, what up? How are you, sir? What's going on? All right, all right. Yeah. I, I ain't going to comment on that Donald Trump shit going to war. We was already at war, so I don't know what yeah. niggas are scared of. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. um, the man Dane. <laughs> That that R. Kelly like that. Let's go. Let's go. See, it's not even re it's not even it's not even reaching no more. It's not even it, it, it's. It, I believe that he's doing that shit because he's trying to find a way to undermine and take down Jay Z. Because mm. I think that that's how that's how deeply rooted his hatred, his jealousy, right. and his envy is. I think he's trying to undermine Jay Z by doing that Come on. because there's a there's a lot there's a lot there just in terms of Aaliyah even though you know you don't really have to go that deep there was just a girl that was with all three of them at the end of the day you know god bless her rest yeah. the dead yeah, yeah. whatever but he's just he's jealous man jay-z is in a place that he probably only dreamt of and you know he's there he's doing it right you know, as much as people might talk about him and his uh, his uh, business dealings and right. situations, that's still a place that he's on. He's in terms of rap music, he's the only one that has reached that plateau. Okay, you know, Shug Knight. If I can just throw some bullshit, you know, in the mix, it's just some bullshit. If I'm not mistaken, because I was on the radio in those days on Hot 97 from March of 2000 until 2003. If I'm not mistaken, I remember Dame was smashing Rachel Roy when he was with Aaliyah. I I, I don't you know, know I don't know the overlap and the time and and I've never spoke about that because I'm not on that type of ho ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But what he's saying about Aaliyah now, of course, we're sympathetic because baby girl's out of here. 
but I think Dame right. Dash was smashing Rachel Roy. She was the uh, uh, the receptionist up at Rockefeller. She didn't come out of no motherfucking Listen. Ivy League background, you know? Right, right. See, here's the thing that people misunderstand about when people are at these events and they're taking pictures and for for them for them on that other side yeah. of the fence that industry in that music business that we're in the sports game and all of that it's all a big party yeah it's a party yeah every yeah. all that all that everybody yeah. yeah so was he sleeping with Rachel Roy why wouldn't he be sleeping with Rachel Roy yeah. if even if he was with Aaliyah the same thing was going on you remember the the the, the whole scandal with Nas's baby mother right. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. You're talking about you my, you you, you're talking about my cousin, Carmen. She's related to me. <laughs> oh, oh. Listen. It's, hey, listen, stop. She's human too, man. Come on. She human too. Right, right. She's susceptible to all of the to all of the stuff that goes on with, with people fall yeah. into these, you know, the looking at people like they beyond human and all of that stuff but yeah Aaliyah the same thing I even yo my man and back when Beyonce was coming up yeah like that whole thing between him and her and Jay and and the rock and all of that yo she was a fan yeah she was a fan all right so please. she was susceptible to the nonsense too yeah. that everybody starts from some rock the boat rock the boat they so big now and you think that they've always been that big they haven't. Everybody Ooh. had a starting point. Shit. So now, hang but, on. Did you see episode one of the uh, believe uh, of R. Kelly surviving R. Kelly part two, the reckoning? Did you see it? Listen, I will never watch that nonsense. No, no, but sir, when sir, I, sir, sir, sir. On it. I need you to watch it and then call back in. I need a real nigga like yourself to tell me, am, am, am I am I wrong? I watched it. I watched it. Ronnie, you watched it too, yes? Was bullshit. <laughs> yes, I did. I mean, I was. it was putting me to sleep, sir, but um, sir. it's pretty much like a, just a regurgitation yeah. of part one. Look, you have to watch it and then call back in and say, Star, here's what it is. You're wrong or, you know, you're not walling. The nigga dame is sitting up there with the fucking dog leash. She's got the dog, whatever that dog's name is. And it's just like, you know... Come on, nigga. What are you okay. doing? Let, let, let's, let's start right there. Hold Come on. on. Hold on. Come on. Let's Come start on. right there. He got a dog leash. He's trying to look fresh. Yeah. He's broke. Mm. You up there trying to destroy another man that you said that you had nothing to do with. Come but on. you was up there doing the Dame Diddy, Dame Dash, Dame Dummy Dance. Yeah, yeah. In the Fiesta video, like, come on, man, why, why are you doing all of this? Why right, you doing right. this? This is like when people commit crimes with each other. Right. Why are you telling if we got away? Why yeah. are you trying to reap glory from something? If if nobody knew we did it and we got away, why you want people to know that we the ones who did it? Right. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Come on. It's it sucks. So are you calling from New York? Where you calling from? I hear a New York accent. Where you calling from? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm calling from the Bronx, mm. aka Iran, the, the OG Iran. I'm in the right. Bronx right now. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, people die every day, like my man <laughs> said when we was kids. How old are you, sir? How old are you? Forty-five. Mm. Did you see the guy up in the Bronx a couple of years back? They were in the bodega, and he's pistol whipping the guy on the floor as he's holding his drink up in the Bronx. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I saw that one. I've seen. I've witnessed some stuff. Myself. No, no, stop, stop, sir, but, sir. We talking about the BX niggas getting pistol whipped as the man is holding his drink. That's classic. Come on, man. You see. You want to, you, you know what the other thing about the Bronx is, is that some Niggas start walling. This shit goes on in that, that some people are afraid to pull out the cameras, right. but like that thing where the dude tried to snatch a girl on a train, that's normal. Like, yeah, I, that's normal. Sadly. That's not, it just got caught on tape. Sadly. And you like, see the most, the shocking thing about it is, is when he ran off the train and he just sat there, people don't believe that people do that, but that's what he did. And then right. they ran into him again. They beat him up on his block. I'm wondering why, yo, if you could beat him down for that, why you can't start, you know, swinging on some of these cops. But, right, right. I, you know, people got different agendas and different things, yeah. different motivations. Right. So. so I appreciate the call, man. Thank you uh, for your call. Thank you so much. No doubt. So All right. Hang on a second.
Whew. All right. Am I doing too much? Let me check on my troll babies. Folks, if you're new to the show, every time I take a nap, I'm like supercharged. And yesterday, I had to power down after I had some fire coochie. And then today, I handled some business, and then I came back and took another nap. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm kind of extra right now. Uh, I'm looking in the live chat, which is right here. Most of the times, I look over here to the money. Guys, am I okay? Should I shut it down or keep going? Okay. They said, turn up, nigga, till you die. Okay, okay. Ronnie, um, Samuel <laughs> Sharp. What, what do you got? Um, this, was, um, this was a great man. And if I'm not mistaken, I, it's been a long, long time. Uh, back in the late 70s, I, I, I went to some great schools, public and private. Um, somewhere in the 70s, I forget when they... they I think they put a statue in Jamaica. 1975. 75, okay. And isn't his... 1975, they proclaimed him a national hero mm. of Jamaica, and his image is on the $50 Jamaican bank note. Facts. Let's go, Ronnie. What else you got? Read it, please. Take your time. What do you got? Okay. So he was an enslaved Jamaican man who was the leader of the widespread 1832 Baptist War slave rebellion in Jamaica. Yeah. Um... He died in 1832 in Montego Bay, Jamaica, yeah. but he's from the St. James Parish in yeah. Jamaica. He was very young when he died, if I remember correctly. Very young when he died. Uh, he was not even 30. Okay. Okay. Samuel, okay. Samuel Sharp, they called him Sam Sharp. And again, I just, I, I so thank those of you who send me emails and you remind me that I educated you because that's what I want to be known for. Fuck all that giving away tickets. Motherfucker interview. Fuck who I interviewed. I've had monumental interviews. I, I interviewed uh, Justin Timberlake. You can Google this to verify this. And Justin Timberlake was on the Star and Buck Wild show on Hot 97. I said, hey man, if you just admit that you ate Britney Spears coochie, I'll play your records, your record, or some song he had. 25 times a week. He said, all right, I did it. <laughs> it's like Access TV or some shit like that. Anyway, Ronnie, you were saying, pardon me, I'm rambling. Yeah, so um, what originally started as a peaceful protest uh, turned into um, the largest slave rebellion in Jamaica, and he was the leader of it. Yeah. So it lasted for uh, 10 days and mobilized 60,000 Jamaicans. Right. It, it went on for days, uh, two weeks maybe, the rebellion in Jamaica? Yes, um, approximately 10 days. Mm. Uh, the government actually had to use the Jamaican military and warriors from other towns to basically suppress the uprising. Yeah. And then they executed more than 300 people, including him, uh, in the rebellion. And if I'm not mistaken, it's been a long time. I was born in 64. He, he wanted death rather than to live as a slave. Yes. <clears throat> he wasn't on, on no coon shit. Rightfully so. Yeah. Folks, if you're Jamaican and you're, you're new to the show or if you're Jamaican and you know the show. A beautiful woman sent me an email reminding me that I spoke about this man once upon a time. Samuel Sharp from Jamaica. Thank you so much, Ronnie. I have a quote, actually, from him. What do you got? He said, um, this is in the months leading up to his execution. He said, I would rather die upon yonder's gallows than live my life in slavery than live a slave. Mm. Rastafari. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> Folks, I'm doing too much. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> Area code 567. Good evening, 567. I'm on that bullshit tonight. Are you there? 567. Hello, hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. What's up, man? I just sent you a uh, donation, too. Oh, thank you, man. Salute. Man, what's up with your boy Dane, man? <laughs> I don't know. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. <laughs> 
Talk to Game me. is buggy, man. I did, I did not believe that that was on that R. Kelly, surviving R. Kelly, man. Do you yeah. not know? I lost my mind when I seen that. Mm. I said, yo, he 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 fucked up, ain't he? Yeah. We like, call- he trying to go to every... Where you calling from, sir? First of all, where you calling from? Toledo, Ohio. Okay. Okay. If I can just say this, and then I want you to talk. All them hollering niggas be telling. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man, what man? I just, I, man, I just lost it all. You know, I just unsubscribed to his channel, man. When I seen that, I said, "Damn!" He, and then he keep throwing this Aaliyah out there, man. Like, I mean, shit, I don't know too much about it, but I, shit, I'm thinking that he didn't took Aaliyah from uh, from Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just don't make no sense. Then he come out, or oh, you tell Jay something, man. You know what I'm saying? He'll tell you not to do it, and then he mess around and marry him. What's up with this dude, man? He just been snitching for like the whole 2019, man. Facts. Then he doing this 2020. Facts. That boy is wild. Now, if I can, man, I if I can jump in, and listen, I'm, my timeline could be off. My timeline could be off, but um, I think Jay Z, and I say this with all due respect to Aaliyah, I think Jay Z said to Dame, "Go ahead and take her, go ahead and take her." You know, I don't know when Jay started hollering at Beyonce because you know, um. Matthew Knowles, Matthew Knowles, he came on my show with uh, Solange. You know who Solange is? Beyonce's younger sister? Yeah, Beyonce's sister. Yeah. Solange had a track with um, Lil Romeo. I was playing it. I was the only one in yeah. New York playing the track. I love the track. Ooh, Solange was, yeah, that was that shit. Solange was cutting her eyes at me because she knew this hating ass nigga getting at my older sister. But... <laughs> <laughs> But Matt, but Matthew Knowles said to her during the break, he said, relax, he's, he's trying to promote your song. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Jay let Dame have Aaliyah and Jay started hollering at Beyonce. I could be off with the timeline, but good. You were saying? But yeah, I mean, no, that's what it, that's what it looked like it was, man. But God damn, man, he's been on the, uh, on the Jay-Z hate train for shit damn near a whole year. Then he started 2020 off like that, man. Right. I, I don't understand, man. I, I, Damn, man, it's yeah. just messed up. Then they say another woman to uh, allegedly, you know what I'm saying, to my sexual assault or whatever the fuck, man. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah like, I... they trying to bury him, man. Cause, see, you shouldn't be doing all of that because I think that's going to be the repercussions, man, of him coming out talking talking this crazy junk, man. Yeah. You trying to go up against Jay-Z, man. You should have hashed that out over the phone, man. You putting that all over the news, all on all on YouTube and shit, man. It's, it's right. about to be a rap for Dame, you yeah. see? I don't, shit. Wish no, I don't wish no bad blood on him or no hate, you know what I'm saying? But, man, he, he, he moves around. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good evening. Thank you for your call. All right, man. Okay. All right. Hang on a second, guys. I know I'm doing a lot tonight. I'm just charged. I had some fire coochie yesterday again. The same girl from a couple of months ago. <laughs> I hate to admit it. <laughs> She looked like Kay Michelle. <laughs> Yo! She looked like Kay Michelle. Anybody remember what um, Queen Kaya said about Kay Michelle? Kay Michelle! Oh, funky pussy, Kay Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> the hater misses nothing. Salute to Queen Kaya. Hey, 646, are you in the building? Good evening, 646. What up, Scott? Hey, is that Loopy God? Loopy God. This Loop, this Loopy God, yeah. I sent two, I sent two, um, some, 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 some chats or whatever. How are you, sir? Good evening. Some bread. What up? Yes, yeah, sir, what up? What up, what up, what up? Yeah, yeah, Brooklyn out here. I'm 39, <laughs> I mean 38. I just turned 38. Okay, how are so you, I, man? I'm growing, I'm growing. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing. Yo, Tasha K went in on Dame today, yo. Mm, as she's supposed to. <laughs> I ain't gonna listen to it. I said, start, start keep talking about her. I said, I don't wanna listen to this gossipy stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna listen to her. <laughs> she's funny as hell. She said, <laughs> you know how niggas started like, nigga. She said, she said, <laughs> Dame was- Sir, can you come closer to the phone? We want to hear what you're saying. Come closer. You're, you're on an African headset. My fault, my fault. Take the headset off, old Brooklyn nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say again? She, she, said, she said that Dane was the one trying to get at Foxy. Mm. <laughs> right. That's why he's going so hard with Hov. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> said, yo, they, they, they was like dealing stalking her. Whole had to come and chill. This is what she got from Foxy's cousin. Sir, if I can say right now, I don't know who Tasha K gets some of her information from. That's none of my god, goddamn but business. A, but she don't give a frock. She's from Florida. She don't. <laughs> and Florida girls don't give a fuck. You hear me? Yo, yeah. my nigga. Throw your wine glasses up in the live chat. Good, sir. You were saying? Go ahead. Everybody. Smoke the book to smoke to everybody, yo. Yeah. Yo, remember back in the day, you know, we used to talk about your Uncle Mike Paul? <laughs> mm. Whoa. Yo, I'm from Wh- King's Ball Project. Where you I'm going? I'm from Rochester and Dean Street. I'm Where you going, book nigga? Book. Where you going, nigga? That <laughs> 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 oh. nigga said, yo, he got a... He got a lot of guns off the street. <laughs> Ooh, this nigga snitching on my Italian uncle. Pay attention. Bro, he come on. Yo, come I was on. Off, you know, my family. Come on. My family, my teacher, who used to mess with in the, in the project. Yeah. Dark skin, little joke. <laughs> okay. Yo, man. Now, are you still in Brooklyn, sir? You still there? Yeah, of course, of course. I um, I, I stepped it up. I moved to Ozone. It's, it's, it's still dirty, but it's in the back of Brooklyn, like right in the back of East New York. Okay. I'm still, I'm still in the hood. I'm still in the hood. Okay. Well, listen, I appreciate the call, man. I really do. And uh, yeah, we we just talking about Dame, man. You know, he's up on uh, surviving R. Kelly part two, man. I mean, I'm yeah, not, man. I'm not hating, man. But come on, my nigga, what are you doing? Pay, pay your child support, nigga, and, and fall back. You hurt? <laughs> How many who don't take his kids gonna talk about somebody else about yeah. anything? Yeah. <laughs> what did Ed OG say back in the days? What what did Ed OG say? Be a father to your Be child. Be a father to your <laughs> child. <laughs> Thank you, man. Salute. Yo, holla, star. Salute. Yeah. Brooklyn nigga on the check-in. Folks, I don't trust a Brooklyn nigga as far as I can spit. But I appreciate the call. Hang on, Ronnie. I have to go to Cash App. I'm, I'm, I'm falling behind here. Uh, Thank you, King. Peace. Shabazz King says, the baby trying to be a cellmate with Kodak Black. Hashtag L. Yeah. Yeah. The baby's living his best life right now. You know, he's turned up on that on that shit, whatever, whatever he does. Uh Vaddy, whoa, 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 whoa. My alleged son. He says, Happy New Year, Dad. Let's get more Skrilla in 2020. Vaddy, good to hear from you, man. Ronnie, have you ever seen my alleged son, Vaddy from New Jersey? Uh yeah. Yeah. You've seen this picture? Yes, I have seen this picture, okay. and you guys could be related. <laughs> we would need to see a DNA test, though, to no, be no, sure. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We don't need to do all, all that extra shit. Right now, he's not trying to sue me uh, for, for back child support. His mother, beautiful woman. She's not trying to sue me. Let's just leave it where it's at. Vaddy, thank you, man. <laughs> no fucking DNA test. <laughs> Uh, Could he retroactively make a case for, uh, like... Let me shut her mic off. What's she talking about? Snitching. Slow down, Ronnie. Slow it down. <laughs> Slow down, Ronnie. <laughs> uh, G-Lo. G-Lo on the check-in says, Connor didn't get slept by Diaz. He tapped uh, Khabib. What the fuck is no mad Nick talking about? Listen, Nomad Nick <laughs> is my guy, and and he and I have done some really what I consider to be some good commentary in terms of um, boxing and um, MMA fighting. So um, thank you for your donation, though, Gilo. Nehemiah says uh, this is for Ronnie, man to get lap band surgery. What? Okay, somebody's talking reckless about you, Ronnie. Uh, Nehemiah. Uh, d- 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 Nehemiah. Rick, thank you. Okay, Rick says Stacy Galore is in East Orange, uh, New Jersey. Uh, star, I-, I wouldn't know. <laughs> 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 I thought Stacy Galore was in Atlanta. Folks, she is. I wouldn't know, but thank you, uh, Rick. Thank you. I'm going through the cash app spokes holes. Okay, and Blaze says. Star, your boy Trump starts off the new year by whacking out sand niggas. I guess we can expect uh, some more planes to be flying into the World Trade Center before long. 
And I also remember you bigging up Jamaicans on uh, the air, but you always said Trini gunman with the best gunman. Okay, hang on, Ronnie. Stay with me. Stay with me. Thank you, Bleed, first and foremost. Yes. In my opinion, I've always said this. Trini, Trinis are the best gunmen. They have the most accurate, you know, um, uh, range. I'll just say that. But I, but you know, I throw you curveballs about Jamaica. But Jamaica has a rich culture. Never mind the IMF. Never mind the shrinking beaches. And years ago, when I spoke about uh, Samuel Sharp, that was from the heart, man. Because people always talk about Nat. Um, what is that? His name, Nat uh, Nat Turner. But Samuel Sharp in Jamaica led a fucking rebellion. He was educated, if I'm not mistaken. Pardon me if I say something wrong. For almost two weeks, killing white people. Put some respect on that man's name. Let me look in the live chat. Anybody from Jamaica in that live chat? Star is always going to throw you a curveball. Always. I want to make sure that you're paying attention to what I'm saying. Never mind interviews and shit that I've done. Who gives a fuck? Never mind Star and O.J. Simpson having an interview. Never mind Star and um, uh, Uncle Luke when we talked about pissing on bitches. Never mind Star and Chris Rock. Never mind Star and countless interviews. I appreciate when people send me emails and say, hey, fuck nut, you taught me something. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Blade, for your donation. Whew. Okay, give me a second, Ronnie. Uh, okay, let's... <laughs> hey, Philip, hold on a second, sir. Area code three... Three six. Where are you, sir? Three three six. Let's get you on the line here. Is that uh, Philip? Good evening, sir. Three three six. Hey, what's happening, player? How are you, sir? Good evening. Where you calling from? Man, I'm calling from Gifford County. Man, I got my man Chin Chills. That sent you a shout out, but you talking to Tippy Q. Thank you, man. Let's go. Hey, man, let me ask you something. Let's go, how, big nigga. How old are you, man? How old are you? Sir, I shot dice with Jesus. I shot dice with Jesus. Hey, now you talking my language, bro. I'm sitting here. <laughs> hey, look, man, I'm sitting here with a Java chocolate and a little James. And I got and, and I got my good shit rolled up in a 1.5, baby. Go. Now, that ought to tell you how old I Let's am. Let's go, big <laughs> nigga. <laughs> hey, look here. We made it. We made it, nigga. Well, uh, listen, a lot of niggas are in the penitentiary or they're taking a dirt nap. Boy, good. We made it. Come on. Yeah, we do, we doing good, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Look, man, I was just scrolling, man, and I, and I heard you, man. I was like, okay. I don't know nothing about Damon Dash. Okay. And I, but, but I know if he hang out with R. Kelly, he either a freak mm. or he part of the game, man. Hey, bro, them cats something else, man. But I don't know nothing about them perverts. But uh, tell you. Well, hang on. So, so you're calling from what state? What state you calling from? North Carolina, baby. The 336. Mm. Okay. Now. You know something about that. Uh, yeah. I know you know something about the Bull City. Hey. But I'm in Guilford County. Okay. I'm in Greensboro. Okay. No, so if, if you ask me, all them niggas was on that bullshit. Dame Dash, Jay-Z, R. Kelly. All them niggas was on that weirdo shit. Back in the days. Now, the only thing that I want to say is that I, I, I'm i not with the gossip and the tea. Wendy Williams, back in the days, when Wendy was with the shits. Don't get it fucked up. When, when, Wendy told Tretch from Naughty by Nature, nigga, come on down to the station. Let's fight. You follow me? I'm with you. Yeah, so I don't know what them niggas was doing. <laughs> Dame, Jay Z, Biggs, um, um, uh, 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 what's in that big face guy? Salute to big face Gary. Salute to big face Gary. All them niggas 
was on some real different type of shit. Foxy Brown was a baby when they brought her out. If you ask me, she was 15, but, yeah. not, but now they're going to say something different. But Foxy right. was a baby. Her brother, what, what was her brother's name, uh, Ronnie? Uh, Foxy Brown's brother. He went to jail. Was it? Uh, God. Gavin. Gav, Gav. It was Gavin. Foxy was a baby, and them niggas was pimping Foxy out. So <laughs> I don't know where we're going, but but go ahead, sir. You were saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, man. Hey, man. I dig your show, man. Shit. Hey, you know, me and my partner, we sit here. We watch a couple ball games, throw you up on the other screen, and yeah, you know, man. we catch your well, we we on that fire stick, man. We ain't on that smart shit, but we on that fire <laughs> stick. So Thank you, man. We catch you up on that YouTube, man. Thank and, you, man. Uh, look, man, I, I I appreciate what you're doing, man. Hey, man, but look, man, keep them little Bobby Browns and Tenderonis off the damn line, man. They don't know <laughs> shit, but I appreciate how you educate them. Thank you, man. Salute. I appreciate how you educate them. Thank you, man. Because them clowns, man, I was sitting there like, yo, bro, listen, they don't understand that your boy Trump done went off up on the tantrum because he ain't used to getting his ass kicked. They right. done caught him up in some of those <laughs> scandal shit. Hey, but look. Uh. No, no, hang on. Stay with me. Stay with me. If I can, if, I, I if I can just stay with me. If I can just say this. If I can just say this. We, America, are the biggest terrorist. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely, man. Look, we. God bless America. Huh? My home. The Manhattan Project. They had to sit down and figure out more ways. To kill people abroad, yes? Absolutely. Yes, yes. I told my boy, man, I said, look, man, look, here's what here's what the real deal is. Yeah. Donald Trump is a businessman. Yeah. And if you can say what you want about it, I don't like his antics, yeah. but he been good for my pocket. I ain't I ain't tripping. Church. Good for my pocket. Church. But he ain't worth a crap. I'm sorry. And then you got that cat out of <laughs> Kentucky. That act like he ain't never been on TV Stop before. <laughs> he, he talked. He talked about this man saying some shit twenty years ago, and I hit this famous little thing on my phone called Google, mm. and his dumb ass show mm. up saying the same stupid shit this dude was saying, mm. and they just reversed twenty years ago. Okay, I'm like, man, I'm about to smoke me a damn joint. There you go, and drink me some good ass moonshine, yeah. and go. call it a day. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And, and get yourself some young pussy. Let's go there. Get some young pussy. It's America. Hey, hey well, let me let me ask you this. You talk about you got that fire pussy last night. Did you monkey stomp it or you side down squat it on? <laughs> no, no. It was it was yesterday afternoon. It was in the afternoon. Right. Yeah. So which one? Did you monkey stomp it or then, you side down squat it? No, no, no. I, I gave her three minutes and then and then I laid down and took a break and then about. 20 minutes later, I gave her another three minutes, and I got the fuck up out of it. <laughs> right. That's when she gave you the new point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Judge. That's, Judge. That's classic. <laughs> yeah. That's classic. I ain't trying to help no bitch find her G spot. That ain't me. Hey. That ain't me. Yeah. Hey man, I like to sit down. I like to. I like to come to the ATL one day, man, and sit down and play a game of chess with you out in the park, man. And we sit there and sip on some damn moonshine, smoke a cup of Javas, okay. and you know. Let's get him out of here. <laughs> what the fuck's that? What, what's he talking about? Sit down and uh, drink and play chess. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like he was inviting you out. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, thank you for the call. How are you doing? Thank you for the call, sir. No. <laughs> Whoosh. Okay, Ronnie, am I doing too much? Should I shut the stream down? Let me check in the live chat. Guys, am I okay? <laughs> I'm checking my troll, baby. I think you're doing great. Okay, okay. Niggas talking about coming down to the ETL. Yeah, get some drinks. Nigga, my. Kick back. That nigga might try and slip me a Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second, Ronnie. Give me a second. <laughs> Whew, okay, Ronnie. Okay, so we, we we broke it down about Samuel Sharp. Yeah, man. 
<laughs> if you're from Jamaica and you've never heard of Samuel Sharp, get to Googling and you remember that the hater and put respect on this man's name. And people can talk about Nat Turner here in America. Samuel Sharp. He said, let's kill as many as we can. Um, Ronnie, any thoughts on um, Adrian Broner trying to holler at a bad baby up on the gram and she exposed that fuck nigga as she was supposed to. Ronnie, any, any <laughs> thoughts on that? Go ahead, bad baby. I think things just are continuing to decline for for Adrian Broner. Yeah. Um, originally, I really liked him, uh, but he's just on a downward spiral. I don't know what it'll take to turn things around. He's still young. Yeah. Maybe he still can, but, you know, this was hilarious. That nigga's in his 30s. He ain't young. He's in the 30s. Fuck-ass nigga. He's still got time that he could turn it around. I'm, I'm just glad that shit. You she, think he's out? He's finished? No, 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 no. I mean, well, in terms of boxing, I don't know. But um, there is an update. Hold on a second. There's an update that Adrian Broner claims he did not know that Bad Baby was underage. Since she exposed him, she took the screenshot and um, put it out there for all to see. Featured box on VladTV.com. Well, I think Bad Baby has been 16 for years now. <laughs> I'm starting to think that's her Hollywood age. <laughs> well, listen, I, I could be wrong, but I thought that she was 13 or 14 when she was on Dr. Phil. She popped off. She popped off. Yeah, I've got to look that up because I thought in my head that she was 16 when she did the show. But um, I'll check. Okay. Hang on a second, Ronnie. Uh, Life Like Beach sends in a cash at. A king never tastes death, but once... Hash, once forward slash Sam Sharp, $50. Yes, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, folks, we're putting respect on Sam Sharp's uh, name tonight. Samuel Sharp. The great uh, rebellion in uh, Jamaica. Don't get it fucked up about Jamaica. Uh, hey, Frank, how are you, sir? He says, Dame's still mad because Brooklyn keeps on taking it. Yeah. Damon Dash did, did an interview back in the days. And he was talking about when he first met Jay-Z and he was talking about how Jay-Z laced up his sneakers. High top joints. I'll never forget it. And we played that audio on the Star and Buck Wild show over and over. That's what Dame Dash paid attention to when he first met Jay-Z. How Jay-Z laced up his sneakers. Whew. Uh, hold on, Ronnie. Let me, let me go to um, Super Chat. Hey, Sugar G. The only way you know it's fire coochie is if you in it raw. Star wall and pay attention. I didn't say I had on a condom, Sugar G. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for your donation. <laughs> Loopy God says, yo, I listened to Tasha K today on the strength of you. And she, she was, she went in on, on Dame. Yeah. She's supposed to. Tasha K's from Florida. Don't, don't get, she don't give no fucks. <laughs> uh, Big Ock, good evening, sir. Big Ock says, normal, question mark. Shit ain't normal. Um, I'm a, what? L-M-A-O, this nigga lying. I don't know what the fuck he talking about. Anyway, salute. Okay, I'm not sure what you're talking about, sir, but thank you so much. Pimp Juice Jr. says, Yo, Star, <clears throat> was you able to get that grocery stench out of your uh, mustache from last night's date? Sir, I don't put my face in the coochie like that. You know, with all due respect. You know, the, the old school Jamaicans taught me back in the, <clears throat> the 80s, don't push your face in something that bleeds every 30 days and doesn't die. You know? 
Don't be fucking going down on, on these on these, these bros like that, man. But thank you so much, all right? Pimp Juice Jr. Uh, Propane K1982 says, Dame loves Snow White more than the Seven Dwarfs. Ooh. And have you seen Doggy Diamond's Scott LaRock Jr. interview? Question mark. He's clapping at niggas. Hard body crap. Listen, Doggy Diamonds is my homie. Yes, I saw Scott LaRock Jr., who never met his father. He died when he was very young. I, I forget how many months. But yeah, he's up on DoggyDiamondsTV.com. Talking about he was about to put hands on KRS One. You know? Yeah, man, Do Doggy, Doggy Diamonds gets the exclusives. Don't get it fucked up with regards to all that, you know, New York Tri-State area, you know, um, rah-rah shit. But thank you so much, Propane K1982. Um, we Love Hip Hop. Did I read this one? We Love Hip Hop says, Star, how you ain't talking about academics versus NAV? 416, where are you, 416? Hold on a second. I, I spoke about that earlier. Well, where, where, where were you? They're on Instagram and YouTube. We love hip hop, I think. Um, and they also sent a donation store. Dame wants that check. He would do anything for them. Uh, Cloud points. Salute from the 416. We love hip hop podcast and live stream on Smash. Thank you so much. We love hip hop. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Super Juice says it's payday. Uh, Friday, hater. I get it. Uh, when I, when I, when I, okay, what is this? This is written crazy. This is Ebonics. Give me a second, folks. It's Ebonics. Ask Boss Chick Ronnie if she's seen the Adam22 forward slash Lena the plug video on Pornhub and her thoughts. Ronnie, do you know what this guy's talking about? Uh, Adam22 and Lena the plug video? I'm confused. No, I have not watched that video. I really have no interest in watching it. Okay. I just not really interested. Got you. Okay, okay. Who? All right. Uh, let's go back to the phone lines, and then I want to ramble a little bit more. Hang on a second. Oh, I have to put some respect on my homie's name, T Rex. Ooh, and salute to the homie T Rock. Who saw T Rex versus T Rock? Tay Rock is my guy, but T Rex, oh! Bars from T Rex. Let me look in the live chat. Hold on a second. Hmm. T Rex, top five greatest of all time. Battle rappers. That man treated me with so much respect back in the early days of Dot Mob. T-Rex has given niggas work out here over the years. If anybody has time, please make sure that you tag T-Rex and say, Hey man, Star always shows T-Rex love. T-Rex my guy as well. Ronnie, you said you saw a battle recently. Uh, Sue Surf versus who, Ronnie? No, I had asked you if... Um if you watched the battle and what you thought about it. Did you see it? You sent me a text earlier. The surf first Geechee. Did you see surf it? Surf first Geechee. You saw a part of it or what? No, I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. That's why I was asking you what you thought of okay, it. Okay, okay. I saw round one. I saw round one. Sue Surf put his Mac down as always. Jersey, as always. All right, hang on a second. Uh, let's go to, uh, okay, Blade. Thank you, Blade. You're sending me the video to the bodega shooting in the Bronx. I saw that, sir. Thank you so much. Hey, G. G says, Aliyah died 2001. Mm. Uh, Ava Dash, born 1999. Ooh, okay, easy, easy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I, let's, let's leave that alone, man. You know, a little extra carrying on. Uh, Marlon. Hey, Marlon. Thank you for your cash app. Foxy getting at DJ Envy said he was carrying her C. Okay. I'm not up to speed. Thank you. Elvis, the chef. Rosenberg, good evening, sir. Thank you for your donation, Elvis, the chef. Uh, and what is this? Uh, Nomad Nick is sending me something about Kevin Stacy's accuser. Uh, okay, we don't care about that tonight, Nomadic, but thank you so much. Yeah, 
He's talking about accusers. He's got to clear up this incorrect information. Mm, okay. Hang on a second. I got a 718. That's got to be a Brooklyn nigga. Hold on a second. 718 BK. Let's talk about it. 718. 718. Hello, hello. Pick it up. Pick it up. Are you there? 718. Pick up the phone. Hello, hello. Good evening, sir. How are you? What's going on? I'm all today. Amor hey, let's talk about it, man. Come on, King's Love. Let's go, man. <laughs> yo, yo, salute, salute to, uh, salute to, salute, salute to, uh, the, the OG Kanowski. Uh, I was happy to hear Craig the other night. Yeah. Salute to the OG. Salute to the OG. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, sir. Dame, Dame has to be called a task. I, I, I think we got to call Dame the task right now. Come on. Dame is a sucker right now. Mm. Yeah, it's too much. Come on. Between the Adam twenty two situation, now I, I I can't bear to watch it. I haven't been able to watch it, but now he he's trying to bring Jay Jay Z down again. Right. Suck on the shit. surviving R. Kelly. Yeah. He's a sucker. He's a sucker. To me, he'll do anything for a check at this point. The Adam twenty two move is a desperate move. Come on. It's a desperate move. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> well, hang on a second. How old are you, sir? Let's start right there. How old are you? Oh, that's all I'm going to talk about, too. Yeah, I had a 21-year-old the other day. Okay, now hang on, sir. How old are you? Let's start there. How old are you? I'm 33. Okay. I'm 33. I had a 21-year-old. Okay. It was too freaky for me. Mm. It was too freaky. And, okay. It was too freaky, and I, and, and, and I just need something calm. I, I need one thing. And the thing is, for me, I'm just, I'm just a little, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a little nasty. And so, if you out nasty me, I'm thinking, who else are you being this nasty with? <laughs> and and, okay. and it just scared me away. Mm. It scared me away. You caught feelings for the bitch. Keep it real. You caught feelings. No, 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 none at all. No feelings. Okay. But I'm, I'm trying to make a boss move, and I, and I, and I go in, I go in a zone when I start getting weird with bitches. Okay. So I got to I got to I can't. I gotta stay focused on one thing. So I, 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 I let it go. Okay. It was gonna take. Me well, listen. I was with a, a 22 year old yesterday. She looked like Kay Michelle, and she started like you know popping a booty. And I said, "Hey, <laughs> slow down. Have I a, heard. I heard. Ha, it. Have a seat, and let's let's just you know let's talk. <laughs> I'm dropping down, getting the eagle on. I said, "Listen, slow down. You're doing. It was a good time." You're but doing I'm like, too I'm, much. I'm learning from you. It was a good time. I need to. I'm gonna I'm come back to it in a few weeks. Okay. Give it a few weeks. Let it marinate. She was hitting me up over the holidays. I'm gonna lay low on that though. Mm -hmm. well, are you in love? Respectfully, you, do you love her? What did you say? Do you love her? Hello. So you you're on you're on an African headset. Stop it. What are you doing? Come on. Let's get him out of here. We were having a conversation, and all of a sudden, he he puts me on the speakerphone. What fuck is you talking about, nigga? Every code 609. He's dodging the question. Yeah, 609, good evening. How are you, sir? Or ma'am? Or sherm? It? Gender-free person? Who are you, 609? Hello, hello. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's get you out of here. Hello? Hello. Yo, what's up, star? Hey, who's... Yo, I got, all right, we from Trenton, New Jersey... Hey. You're 18 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a big fan of yours, actually. I'm a big fan of yours. I've been watching for about a, a little over a year now. I'm okay. a huge fan. Well, now, hang on a second. You're, you're 18 years of age, and you're from Trenton, New Jersey? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, listen. Yeah. Respe respectfully, respectfully, I don't have a fan. Fuck a fan. You're a supporter or you're, you're hating? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. I know. Fuck a fan and Fuck all that shit. You're a fan of no one. That's right. What's going Listen, on? Listen, I watched your podcast with Joe Budden and Rory, that bitch ass. You know Rory, right? Rory's a good guy. Where are you going? I like Rory. He was respectful Rory, to me. I like, listen, I like Rory too. But it seems like you were getting at him a little bit on the podcast. But I don't even want to talk about that. I just want to talk about... Um, well, he's white. I have to. <laughs> <He's> white. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
But Rory's my guy. So so let's never mind that. You wanna, all right, listen. You're from Trenton, New Jersey. You're 18 years yes, of sir. age. Yes? Yes, sir. Come on. Let's go. I, I want to talk about um, when you were on Everyday uh, Trash and you uh, you called XXX a suicide hustler. Mm. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I just want to know. No, no, because hold up. Because Come on. Hold up. Come on. Because I agree with the. I don't really like a lot of the new music that's going on. I don't like the direction it's going in. You know, I, I, I was listening, you know, I listen to Prince and I'm a weirdo. Okay. You know? Okay. And, and when you called him a suicide hustler, it kind of was like a great a term, a great term that you came up with, and I started using it, and it's offensive. No, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let you go. I just want to say. No, no, stay with me. Stay with me. You're 18 years of age. You're, fr you're from Trenton, New Jersey. And, and let me just say this. Yeah, Ac yeah. Academics is a great guy. Salute to Wayno, and I like Nadeska. But I wasn't. I just want to say. Then this. Hang, hang on, listen to me. Let, let me let me just say this. Let me get this off my chest. I'm not an old okay. player hater. I'm an objective hater. Yeah. I'm not going to sit there yeah, yeah. and hate on the younger generation. I like a lot of the newer music. I like it. You follow me? But uh, with regards to X X X Tentacion, yeah, I I did say that, and I stand on that. He's gone now. R I P. But um. Oh yeah. You're from Trenton, you're from Trenton, New Jersey. Do you know that one of the greatest hip hop groups that came out of Trenton, New Jersey during the Golden Era? You know who they were? Yes, from Trenton. No, I don't. Poor righteous teachers. Poor righteous Poor teachers. Poor righteous teachers. I never heard of that. I know Jay Z. He he's from Trenton, New Jersey. No, no, no. Jay Z's from Brooklyn. Jesse from Brooklyn. He's from Brooklyn. Are you sh look at I've seen on Google that he's from Trent. No, no, no I, listen, listen to me. Jay Z's from Brooklyn. D Haven, if I'm not mistaken, D Haven was pumping drugs in Trenton. Yeah, you're right. I've seen that shit on Vlad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if we're talking about Trenton, you guys have a very rich history. Poor righteous teachers. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. I, yeah, you know, I just want to let you know how I found you real quick, though, is I was watching every, you know, I was, I was actually a gigantic academics fan. That's my guy. When I was in the 10th grade, ninth, right? And That's I was my guy. watching them on Twitch and everything, and I knew about Everyday Struggle before it came out a couple months, right? Okay. And then I see this guy, you know, star yeah. on, and I'm like, you know, I'm a huge Joe Budden fan also. I like his music. Joe's a great guy. Also, great guy. Yeah, yeah, legend. And uh yeah. and I I I watched your your everyday struggle and I go, Oh my god, this is great. You yeah. know what I mean? This is better than Joe. This is <laughs> uh Thank you, man. next level. No, seriously, because I'm only you know, I don't really I was in sixth grade when I started watching, you know, Hot Ninety Seven and the Breakfast Club and yeah. you know, sixth grade, you know, it's pretty early. Hot ninety seven never paid me any money. They offered me nigger pennies, so I left. Nigger pennies. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And I'm I, not a nigger from Harlem, so I left. Guys, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this is the guy who was on the radio before yeah. all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, and you were like really running shit. And well, listen, I love all those guys. You will never hear me yeah. say anyone stole my shit. I love academics. Nev Joe Budden, great yeah. people. But, but, but listen, you're 18 years of age, yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Do you have an older sister or an auntie or is your mom, you know, looking for a <laughs> looking for a, a significant <laughs> other? Dick? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Okay. All right, all right. Pardon me. Nah, Pardon I don't me. think. Why are you? Huh? All right. So I'm going to let you go. All right, though, thank so you, man. I'm going to let you go. I'm not. Thank you, man. Salute. Say, say again. Thank you. Salute. Salute. Okay. All right. All right. Tell your mom, you know. I said hello. All right, thank you. Hey, Ronnie, we got 18-year-olds uh, calling you, Ronnie. How about that, huh? Star and boss. Yeah, Ronnie but put you, it down. did you notice? Yeah. Let's go, Ronnie. Did you notice? He, he, didn't want you to he didn't want you to have anything to do with his mother. Right, right. <laughs> he yeah. curved you very quickly. Yeah, he curved his shit out of me. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> 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 Let's get this nigga the fuck out of here. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, poor, poor righteous teachers. Trent, New Jersey, you heard of them, Ronnie, yes? Yes. Rock, rock mm -hmm. this funky joint. Oh, they had a track. Let, let me just, let me ram, ramble for a second here. They had a track called, Sha is it Shaquilla? Can you Google, Ryan? Do you have your laptop in front of you? Is it Shakira or Shakira? Shakira, my queen. Yeah, sure. Before Tupac came with the song, oh, um, God. Um, before Tupac came out with the song, Keep Your Head Up, Poor Righteous Teachers used that same music. Let me look in the live chat. Guys, was it Shakira or Shakila? I forget. Shakila, my queen. Hey, thank you, Frank Ross, if you're... Give me the right information. Shaquilla. Shaquilla, yeah. Oh, that was my shit. What year did that come out, Ronnie? Shaquilla. 1990, that was released. Mm, okay, okay. I was still sniffing Coke in 1990. Yeah. You sure it's 1990 or not 1991? Well, it says the album that it was on was released in 1990. Okay. Um, it looks like the video, the copyright on the video is 1991. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Folks, I'm doing a lot tonight. Just bear with me. And Ronnie, can I ask you a question? And I want to come back to you. Just, just think about this and don't answer just yet. Did Bobby Brown put a hit on Nick Gordon? Don't answer it. Don't answer this yet. Did Bobby Brown put a hit on Nick Gordon? Come right back to you. Sit tight. Whew. Hey, uh, Terrence, good evening. Sends in a uh, cash app. Says he wants to call in, but I do not see a number. Thank you, Terrence, for your donation. You are appreciated. Okay, Blade, you're sending me, like, paragraphs. Dude, where are we going, man? I'm sitting here sipping. I had some fire coochie yesterday, a 22-year-old. What are you doing, my nigga? It's like two paragraphs. Uh, Star Foxy was only 15 when she came out with that song, Ain't No Nigga. Sounds like Jay was a, a, a bad boy. And, yes, we Americans are the biggest terrorist. Facts. Okay, this this is too long to read, man. I'm 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 sipping my nigga, but thank you so much. Okay, no mad nick says I'm on the line. I want to get at these fuck niggas. Hold on a second. No mad nick, you, you say you wanna get at these fuck niggas. Let's go, Nick. Don't play with these niggas, man. Let's go, Nick. Fuck listen, fuck everybody in the hate room. Fuck like fuck everybody. Let's and go, Ronnie, Nick. hold on. You was trying to say something about me uh earlier. <laughs> Talking about I gotta get my what right? <laughs> what you say? I reiterated what the other two callers said, which is that you had bad information. Ronnie, let me let me let me let me tell you a little something, Ronnie. Uh, how long you been <laughs> with your man? How long how, how long you been fight? with your man, Ronnie? Ronnie, how long you no been with Nick. your man? No, Matt Nick. Why are you? you I've known Ronnie since middle school, Nick. Slow it down. I I, I don't promote that, but I've known him since middle school. Okay. Ronnie, just answer the Mom. question. How long you been with your man? I don't know why I called you, Mo. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I got you flabbergasted. I get it. Ronnie, how long have you Nick, been with your man? What's the date of the fight? Can we know the correct answer? How long answer? you been with your man? How why are you deflecting? Man, Ronnie? Ronnie, why are you I deflecting? Ask you, a question. you can't answer a question with a question. How long You're have you been with woman. your man? Answer the question. Answer the question. How long have you been with your man? Why are you deflecting? Why are you Nick. so hesitant to answer the question? How long have you been with your man, Ronnie? Shaquilla, my queen. Do, 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 do. Oh, that was the shit. Poor Rachel. What's the date of the fight? Proud of how long you been Salute to Wise Intelligent. Oh, that was my guy. How about that? Oh, Are you not, no. proud, you're not proud of how long you've been I with your man? I don't have a, I don't have a man. You're, come on. That look. That, come on. You, that, that guy you I got all up man. on Instagram, you, you, you're not proud that's of That's my brother. You're not proud of saying how long you've been together, Ronnie? No, that's my brother. So now, can you tell us the date of the fight? Ronnie. Ronnie, you're not proud of your relationship? What's, what's going on, Ronnie? We're going Let's in a circle it. here. Okay, no, man, Nick, you said you wanted to get at people about the boxing information, the MMA. Can you can we get to that, please? No, man, Nick, please. 
As soon as we answer this question, Ronnie, how long have you been with your man? Oh, why are you so? Why are you so ashamed? I answered you. I don't have Ronnie? one. That's my brother. That's my brother. I don't have one. Now you're gonna give believe- us the, Listen, the fight, the fight Listen, date, Ronnie, or no? I, 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 Ronnie, are you still confused Ronnie, about just, that? I, Do we need to have a few more I callers call in brother. with the correct information? <laughs> Listen, listen. We haven't even verified that you're an actual to the show. person yet. He's listening to the show right now saying she, she can't even, she she doesn't even have the heart to say Why how are you fixated on him? That's a little suspect, I'm don't just, you I'm think? Because I'm trying to ask you a question. I mean, I'm not concerned why you, about why are you so hesitant? who's in your life. You so okay, listen, no mad Nick. I, I want to let you speak, man. But I, listen, I'm sitting here, you know, off, off of this uh, limited edition Ciroc, man. Where we right. going? Where we going? Nick, Nick, where we going? Where we going? What, 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 where we're going is that Ronnie is uh, uncomfortable with talking about how long she's been in a relationship. Okay. No, I'm so just I can't make trying my to keep point. you on track right. because right. you're I deflecting. Right. Nick, 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 I fuck with you heavy, man. Let's talk behind the scenes and get and let's uh, make sure that we are uh, commentating that next event. All right, Nick? Let's do that. Let's Thank do you, that. man. Okay, no, man, Nick, let's check in. Whoo, shit. Okay, Ronnie, hold on a second. Transcendent Music sends in a super chat. Star, from your... Interaction with that teenager, you'd be the dad <laughs> that would be teaching the kids about fire bussy and how they can't trust Brooklyn niggers. Okay, what teenager are you talking about, sir? The 18 year old? I'm confused. Thank you, man. Transcendent music. Uh, he also says uh, that Brooklyn nigga had some 21-year-old 21 21 year bussy and was d- driving insane. It's called, ooh, uh, Yobamania. Made that nigga hang up early. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Propane K1982 says, I'm surprised you didn't mention Bobby Christina's ex-husband taking a dirt nap off them drugs. And do you consider, <laughs> and do you consider, well, listen, I, I've asked the question, did Bobby Brown put a hit on, uh, is it Nick? What's his name? Uh, what was his name, uh, Ronnie? Nick, Nick Gordon. Nick Gordon. What do you think, Ronnie? Do you think that Bobby Brown put a hit on him? He died on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day over uh, an apparent drug overdose. What do you think, Ronnie? I mean, if you look at all of the deaths, um, just, Going back to Whitney, and then after Whitney was, of course, Bobby Christina, and then after Bobby Christina was um, the guy who found uh, Bobby Christina and tried to administer CPR. He died of an overdose, and now we have Nick. Mm. So, I mean, it's like everybody who is connected. Bobby should be careful. I I don't know if he's the one. If he didn't put some sort of spell, he should make sure that you know, he's straight because this is weird. <laughs> Everybody connected. Folks, are Roxbury projects still uh, in existence or did they tear them down? Let me look in the live chat. Hang on a second, Ronnie. Bobby Brown and some of the other new, new edition members, they're from a place called Roxbury Projects. Bobby, if you ask me, he probably... Paid somebody, you know, paid a bitch. You always send a bitch to give Nick Gordon some good shits. Hey, when that nigga starts getting good and high because Bobby and Whitney raised Nick Gordon. You know this. Yes, Ronnie? Yes, no? Yeah. Yeah. So Bobby probably knows Nick Gordon's habits. He could have sent a bitch, allegedly, to give him a package. When he gets good and high, tell him to sniff this or inject or give him this to inject himself, you know, between his toes and his neck, wherever. <laughs> mm, somebody between says, star, somebody says, star, chill, Anthony Prince. Yeah, my nigga, let, let's go there. Let's go there. Bobby said, listen, I do think that Bobby, come on, come on. I, I do think that Bobby uh, blames Nick for his daughter's death. I yeah. think that, you know, the family um, saw and they actually want a settlement, um, right. not a settlement, uh, a, a civil, civil suit, judgment a civil for $36 suit. million. Dollars. Yeah. Right. 
for $36 million because they found that he was responsible for her death. Right. So, um, but you can't get blood from a stone. You know, he, he didn't have any real assets. So Bobby is either from Roxbury Projects or Jamaica Plain. I forget. It's been so many years. I had some good pussy back in Jamaica Plain back in the days. But bro Bobby probably said, allegedly, I'm going to hold this L on Whitney. But I'm not going to hold the L on Bobby Christina. I'm going to send a bitch to get this nigga real high. And the nigga checked out. Hang on a second, Ronnie, stay with me. Okay, someone's saying he's from Bean Court. I don't know. I, I forget, folks. I, I, I'm as old as dust. I forget. I could have sworn they were from Roxbury Projects. Am I wrong? Dorchester? I don't know. Southie? Did Bobby Brown put a hit on Nick Gordon? <laughs> Did he get him the fuck up out of here? Okay. All right. Never mind. Well, Ronnie, it's possible. What's that, it's Ronnie? It's certainly possible. It's possible, yeah. I, I said it's certainly possible. Yeah. Ryan, uh, can you hang on, Ryan, or do you have, you have to run? You okay? Yeah. I, did you hear what I last said? What did what, you say? No, I just said that it's it's certainly possible, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, because the guy who overdosed that found Bobby Christina with Nick, um, he had a fentanyl overdose. Mm. So it could be the same situation, it, but it could be, you know, that his drugs, whatever he purchased, got spiked. Right, yeah. Because fentanyl, they say it only takes, like, the amount that's the equivalent of a grain of salt mm. for someone to overdose. I wouldn't know. Okay. Ronnie, I'm going to run to the restroom. I'm going to put a banner on the screen. I'll be back in two minutes, okay? Can you hang out? Sure. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to take a break. Sit tight. I'll be right back, okay? Intermission or whatever, you, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Give me a second. Okay, boss, welcome back in the building. Ronnie, are you there? Boss chick, Ronnie. Okay. Give her a second. Where's Ronnie? Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Hey, so I, <laughs> I just want to clear something up. I, ha <laughs> I have not known you since you were in middle school. That was a joke, yes? I didn't know you back then. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did not. <laughs> that was... That would be sort of creepy, that, that'd be very, depending upon the capacity that right, you knew me. Right, that'd be very, <laughs> very creepy. Uh, hey, uh, good evening to uh, Punkin23 says, tell Ronnie, uh, I would it her booty like, okay, sir, you, you, you said it her booty like groceries. That's a misspelling. It. Yes, not me. You made a misspelling. He must be <laughs> turned up on that dank. Okay. Thank you so much for your, do <laughs> your donation. All right, let's bring in a few more calls before we wrap this up tonight. Um, and then I'm coming back to Blade, Gemstar, Transcendent Music, and a few others. Uh, let's go to Area Code 413. Good evening, 413. Why is Damon Dash in Surviving R. Kelly Part 2? Please, 413. What's going on, Star Man? Happy New Year. How are you, sir? Happy New Year to you. Good man, it's Panda the Canna Man smoking that Kush all day. Okay. Just here bagging up some dope, you know what I mean? You okay. know how I do. Okay. But um, yo, basically, uh Dame Dash is uh running like uh a nigga chasing chicken right now. Mm, let's go. Um He he needs the bag, man. He needs the bag. And um he had the opportunity to spill the tea. So uh he said, you know what? I got to pay these bills. Who knows what they threw at him? Right, right. But it was probably a couple of zero, a couple of zeros. And, you know, when your back is back is up against the wall yeah. and uh, his position with Jay-Z is pretty much um, or his relationship with Jay-Z is pretty much, you know, down the drain. So he's right. like, 
you know what? Screw this nigga. I'm going to go all out. You know what I mean? Jay, Hove ain't trying to help him. So why he trying to help Hove? He going to spill the tea. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm curious to see what else he got he got to say. You know, I guarantee in the next 20 in the in the next couple months for 2020, Dame is going to spill the tea. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And what's really sad about it is, look, Hove, even though the relationship with Kanye isn't what it is on mainstream, like like to the media, but they still have somewhat of a relationship. They right. they speak. Right. So Hove is Hove is cool with Kanye. Hove is cool with Biggs. You know, Biggs came out of jail. Hove gave him a bag to start to start whatever business he needed to start. Hove, the only one in in that equation that that's 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 still not somewhat cool with 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 everybody is Dane. What's going on with that? And 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 to and and to take it a step further. Harlem niggas is taking L's. They they they've been taking L's for, for 2019 to 2020. Right. Jim Jones with the whole Takashi thing, ASAP Rocky with the whole like sex video, no. Dame with his antics. What what's going on in Harlem? Yeah. What's really good? <laughs> I'm concerned for the for. The- Can I ask where are you calling from, sir? Area code four one three. Where are you calling in from? I'm in Massachusetts, man. I'm in I'm in I'm in I'm in Springfield, Massachusetts. Okay, okay, okay. Did you see the video with Cameron and Jim Jones playing basketball a couple of weeks ago? Did you see that? Again? Nah, what was that about? <laughs> nah, what there was what there, there was balling like G Money and No, all. no, 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 listen to me, listen to me, sir. Sir. <laughs> Maybe I pay attention to shit a little bit too much. But <laughs> Killer Cam and Jim Jones were playing basketball on a court a couple of weeks back. Both of them niggas look like they got no no handle, no skills. It looked crazy. <laughs> and I remember, I remember Killer Cam talking about he could wash Stephon Marbury. And I said, what? It looked crazy. I just want to ask you that. It looked crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm going to watch the video as soon as we uh we, we, we get off this, this phone call. But yeah. but both of them dudes is in their 40s. Yeah. They both smoked hella, hella weed all day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They... I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't. It was just a, it was just a quick little pickup game for the two of them. They put it on the on 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 the net, and you know what it I mean. It looks crazy. It's crazy, but yeah. How old are you, sir? If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 42. I'm 42, man. Okay, okay. Yo, and a, a salute to you for that fire coochie, man. I knew there was something that made you take some time off. That fire coochie just had yeah. you. You had to go relax, recuperate, yeah. rejuvenate, do what you needed to do. That girl is a life sucker. I don't want to see her anymore. She's a fucking life sucker. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Yo, but check it out. The Bronx keeps taking it out of all the boroughs. I told you this before. We had a conversation. I read the daily news every day. I check it at least two or three times a day to see what's popping mm-hmm. in all of the boroughs. And out of all of the boroughs, the Bronx keeps it a golly you know how Sh- well, well well hang on now now to be precise the old saying is manhattan keeps on making it brooklyn keeps on taking it Th- that's the old saying verbatim you know we need to change it we need to change it okay right. <laughs> we need to change it man thank we need you to man. Change it. and the new name for the new name for bronx is bronx dad instead of baghdad bronx dad got you thank you man Let's, let's, let's take it there. Thank Have a you. good new year, man. You Bless. Too. Keep so, doing what you're okay. doing. Ronnie. Yes, sir. Bless. All right, all right, all right. Whew. Joshua on the check in via Cash App. He says, uh, Joshua Brooklyn, best BKNY real estate broker. Thank you, sir. Sounds like a man who's handling some gentrification business down there in Brooklyn. Folks, Brooklyn's not what it used to be. I say that with all due respect. Um, Van says, Star, did you wash your hands or did you, did you pull a Umar Johnson? <laughs> Sir, I always wash my hands. I, I've got, you know, OCD going back many, many years. Yeah, I, I, I have to wash my hands and I always wipe them on my shirt. I'm, I'm rocking a polo tonight as always, you know, pow. And I've got some wet stains on my polo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, hold on, Ronnie. Uh, do, do, do. Hey, Troy, good evening, sir. He says, Bobby Brown took a hit with Nick Gordon. Hashtag dog food. Mm. You know, I could be talking reckless, folks, but 
Bobby Brown may have paid somebody to off Nick Gordon. Ronnie, is that, is that crazy for me to say that, or do you think there's even a possibility? As a father... I, it's certainly plausible because, yeah, I mean, like you said, he's her father, and they find that, you know, Nick is responsible for her death. So yeah. there's no telling how far his grieving might have taken him. I mean, with all due respect to um, Whitney Houston, you know, you can always say, man, fuck a bitch. But when, you, when it comes to your daughter... You know, the, the average man will say, you know, what? I'll go to the penitentiary. Fuck it. I'm going to pen. I'm ready to go. As I've always said, real niggas don't want to go to jail, but they're not scared to go to jail. Bobby Brown may have sent someone, you know, to give that to give that uh, guy, Nick Gordon, a package. You know, tell that whole ass nigga to fucking beam up on this. It's always a bitch. <laughs> it's always a bitch. <laughs> uh, Sugar G, good evening. Sugar G says, I see Ronnie giggling on that comment about eating her groceries. I paid attention. Mm, okay. Thank you, Sugar G. Uh, Blade, Blade says, My bad. Sometimes I get long winded, and I hope you keep the ratchet close by when you visit these young ladies. They set niggas up on the regular. <sighs> Well, sir, listen, I, I'm no tough guy. You've heard me say that before, but I, I, don't, I don't carry cash on me like that, nor, nor do I trick off on a bitch. I don't go there to spend no motherfucking money, you know? I don't, I don't be putting bitches up in uh, Red Bottoms and uh, what is that other shit? Uh, what is it, J Jimmy Choo? Is it Jimmy Choo Shoes? Ronnie, do you know what I'm talking about? Jimmy Choo or Choo? Jimmy Choo. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy Choo. Yeah. Red Bottoms. Red Bottoms. Me put no bitches up in no motherfucking red bottom. So so she knows what it is with me. I'm coming in, you know, with three extra clips. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Gem Star says Star getting a boner over the thought of going to war. <laughs> Just like the creepy cracker he's always desired to be. Well, listen, Gemstar, somebody has to die for this freedom that we have. Come on, you already know that. You know, I don't want to get talking reckless about Hiroshima and other things, but, you know, come on. Huh? And, you know, folks, one day we're going to have another conversation. We did years ago about uh, the African, uh, pardon me, the Atlantic slave trade. One day we'll have that conversation again and how... Abolishing slavery here in the States and other regions really hurt the slavery business in Africa. And Africans were upset. Ronnie, do you, do you, um, are you a slavery person? Do you know about slavery and, uh, what sort of jazz? Or is that not your, your thing? Um, I mean, I, I have the basic facts about it. Mm. I wouldn't call myself a scholar okay. in any way. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll get Luke Caney on the line on that particular night. And uh, yeah, you know, when slavery was abolished here in the States and the Caribbean uh, islands, niggas in Africa were upset. <laughs> yes, they, yes, they were. <laughs> they were upset. <laughs> oh. Hold on a second. Uh, who is this here sending in an email? Uh, la, 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 la. Okay. Uh, someone says, Star, Bobby Brown is from Orchard Park Projects in the Roxbury District. Th thank you so much. I, I forget all, all the, all the, uh, the technical nigger shit. <laughs> I forget who's from Roxbury. Uh, uh, Maurice White or whatever the fuck his name was. You know? I hated New Edition. Candy Girl hated them. Yeah, thank you so much. But the question remains, did Bobby Brown put a hit on Nick Gordon? Who gives a fuck about where, where he originally was from, you know? Whew. 
Okay, hey, Ronnie, I'm going to finish up by myself. I just want to touch on a few things. I thank you so much for being available tonight. Anything we want to promote or touch on before you go? Boss shit, Ronnie? Um, no, I would just say that um, I start reading. I started reading. Well, not reading, listening to, because I'm doing it on um, Audible, okay. a great book by um, Alan Carr. Okay. And it's called Stop Smoking Now. Mm. And it's allegedly helped uh, 25 million people stop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what are you saying? I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to dig, you know, <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening to the book um, to to stop smoking. So, yeah, it's a great book so far. I'm okay. like on chapter twelve. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen. I, I wish you all the best. I, mean, I, I always say, go hard or go home. I'm not telling you that you should you should stop smoking, but if you feel you need to, then I wish you the best. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been long enough, so we'll see what happens. Okay. I'll keep you up to speed. Good to talk to you, Ronnie. We'll, we'll catch up tomorrow. You too. Take care. Good night. Okay. All right, boss, you Ronnie holding me down tonight on a Friday. Yeah. Oh, shit. Did I miss any super chats? Hold on a second, guys. You know, sometimes I get to doing too much. Uh, a smooth 79. Did I, did I get your... Uh, your Pardon me. Uh, what about... Uh, uh, okay, what is this? Uh, last 50 years, uh, Somali Somali wars, uh, slaves from South Carolina and G GA went down there to fight against the American military. Hashtag EDOS. Okay, okay, thank you so much. W what is it you're trying to say, sir? Do you want to call in? Sir, if you're ADOS like myself, you've got a lot to be proud of in terms of defending and fighting for this nation. If I understand you correctly, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but uh, you've got a rich history of, of African Americans that have fought for this nation and this freedom. I think we're on the same page, to be honest with you. Pardon me if we get into your uh, super chat late. Gorilla Zoe says, Star, how the fuck you gonna tell Dame to pay his child support, but you ignore Vaddy? <laughs> Hashtag light skin niggas. Sir, Vaddy just reached out to me within the last year. He's he's in his early twenties now. I think he's twenty-four. <laughs> his mother, beautiful woman. Oh, she's still looking hot, but she never hollered at me. You know? Star's favorite bussy on the check and says, Star, why are you hiding the word from me? No, pardon me. Why are you hiding the world from me? If you don't confess your love for me, I will be submitting my show idea to Netflix. <laughs> Hashtag surviving star. Thank you so much, Star's bussy, whatever that is. Gorilla Zoe says, uh, Star, how the f... Okay, I read that one, pardon me. Blade, I got yours. Loopy God, Sugar G, Loopy God, Big Ock. I think I got all these. Hang on a second, guys. I got. I got to go. I got to get up early and and take a drive down to Riverdale, Georgia, the home of Waka Flocka and Sierra. Early in the morning. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Okay, guys, let me get uh, Hunter Acre Woods banner on the screen. That's the homie. Yeah. And I will see you guys probably not tomorrow. I'll see you Sunday at some point. Thank you so much for your support, your dedication. And in parting, I used to say, may all of your children speak proper English and may the gates that surround your property keep you safe from common ghetto trash. Good night.